I'm live. I am live. Good morning, everybody. So I think I finally found the best frame rate for uh, playing the PS2. I remember yesterday it was really laggy. So uh, I'm just going to pick back up where I left off. I'm going to be snacking. And I'm going to show you how. Let's talk about the game as I go. Go. Feel free to message me. You will hear a lot of chewing, and I'll probably probably will always have my mouth full. So that's just how I roll. So picking back up where I left off. Way smoother. So now I'm going to test out my mic. I'm hoping it can still work with the audio because I have the game paused at the moment. Give me one second here. Cool. Should be fine. A little bit laggy, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. So, I think good enough to play. A walk through. Just comment what you think, how the pranks are. Of course, I can't really see what you do. Um, on my end, everything looks fine. So, please let me know. Uh, that's awesome. Here. Okay. Right, and I leveled up again. So let's level up Wolverine. Again, if you have not played this game, I think lovers will really uh, fall in love with this game. So, let's see. Focus enhancer. Alright, and let's do this, our battle with Mystique. <laughs> yeah, watch out for those bombs, Mystique, because they do a lot of damage. Really spam my EP until I run out, and then I do other attacks here. She's working me today. I usually never have trouble with her. You are destined to lose X Men. Ah, she got away. Wolverine, someday, some way, I'll see you die. You're done, darling, and I ain't even broken a sweat. Where's Blob taking the kid? She's ours now, Wolverine. You'll never see her again. 
We'll get her back, Mystique. Even if we have to cut down each and every one of you Brotherhood psychos. <laughs> What's so special about her? The Crestmere child has her uses. You always got some plan brewing, don't you, Mystique? <laughs> it's time to save Allison. You'll never catch Blob! <laughs> I love when she talks about Blob as if he's like really fast. Really, really big, really slow guy. Anyway, we're gonna catch him, so let's go. Not to mention he left all those footprints behind. I can't remember if this part has footprints or not. I guess I hadn't paid attention before. Uh, yep, they do. Hey, Wolverine. Yeah, we'll find him. And now we have Cyclops. Boa will become available when new X-Men become unlocked for play. Let's go. I'm the best at what I do. I don't have an extraction point, so I will be using safe states. Cyclops leveled up there. I'll see you again, X Men. For those of you who uh, watched the other day, I remember. I can't remember how far I got exactly. I got almost to the end of the first part, so um, I am going to play that part through again. If you want to wait until after I get there. Or if you want to watch again, I'm probably going to do things a little bit differently this time. Either way, I'll be here. Okay. Here, we are about to go up against Mr. Blob. I'm gonna get my body enhancer and then uh, I'll do that. All right. So to save uh, Cyclops' point, I'm gonna put his uh, point a little bit more better. Or that will be better for the team. Once we start getting new people. So, yeah, I'll hold it. Yes. Oh! Get this guy away from me! <laughs> hey, come back here! Don't take another step closer, Blob. Try oh, stop me, Blob! <laughs> Specific enemies are resistant to certain damage types, making some attacks less effective. You may need to rely on particular X-Men to beat various opponents more effectively. So with Wolverine being all head first, all physical, um, he can't do very much to blob, as you can see from the ripples in his arms and his legs. He is very resistant to any physical attack, and he is also bulletproof. I will be focusing on Cyclops. I'm going to spam his optic blast. That's the best thing to do. Oh, that's another thing. If you do a mutant ability attack at the same time that another X-Men does, you'll do a combo. That's really cool. Get more experience and more attack power done. Oh, watch the car. 
<laughs> Almost forgot about that. Almost got him here. So as you can see, if I try to attack him, I'm only doing two damage, two, one, sometimes two, sometimes none. Yeah. I think Wolverine might be looking a little bit more, like seven with the slash, but three, one, one, two. Yeah, you can't really do very much. Better, better. Oh, oops. Okay, so I skipped the first part of the audio. It was Jean Grey saying, good work, guys. Head back to the X-Jet. Wolverine says, Gene, could you ask Storm to create some rain? It keeps civilians off the street and give us a little cover. Got it. Got it, let's go. There's Allison. There. It's gonna be heading back to the extract with us. Since they tried to uh, take her to make her part of the brotherhood. Learn more about her later. Looking for tech bits and EP and uh, HP boosters. There's one. This should be good for now. I really like the artwork on this game. the rooftops. Wolverine leveled up again, so I'll level him up here in a minute. He has most of the roof that I already need, so. You're lucky you're still breathing. At least for now, anyway. Yes, you can knock them off the buildings, and occasionally you will get, I think, seven times the experience. And there's also, maybe it might be a glitch, there are a couple times where I haven't gotten anything. Okay, so I got like double that time, I think. The game's over, X -Men. I remember, it, it could have been a game glitch, but a long time ago, so I got 20 there. I think I got like six times the experience. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, the game froze. So, um, you ain't getting up. that's probably not normal, but anyway. <laughs> you knock them off the building, you get double. That's what it said for me. Here. Sorry about that. Just what I need. You are destined to lose X Men. And if you've never played this game, I recommend playing it. Uh, it's one of my favorites of all time. Now, personally, I like this more than uh, Rise of the Apocalypse, X-Men Legends 2. Um, I, don't, I felt like there was just too much to do. I felt like there was too much to do. And when I finally did beat the game, I was like, what? That was it? Probably because I did things out of order to... I definitely didn't follow the correct order, but, um... You are I just woke up one day and realized that I was toward the end of the game. So. Yeah. I'm the best at what I do. 
some melee combos here. I'll go in some more with that later. That's that's about it here. I think we're coming up on the X deck here. I'll see you again, X Men. That had to hurt. I'm the best. Yeah, some of the X Men like to talk trash. Oh, also, I forgot to say something. So earlier I picked up something called a comic book. We'll go into more of that later here. And then there's also Danger Room Discs where you can train train up your team and make them better. Also something that we'll see more of shortly here. The game's over, X-Men. Get out of here and head back home. Let's go. You must show up. Great job, but your mission isn't finished yet. Yeah, they didn't have a category for it. Why is all this happening to me? Allison, it's okay. Things were fine until last week. I got mad at my little brother and suddenly the ground started to shake. I knew it was my fault, but I didn't want to admit it. Your powers are becoming active, which... Things have only gotten worse. That lava in the street? I made it happen. I'm becoming a mutant. There's nothing wrong with... And that woman? She was going to make me join something called the Brotherhood. She could come after me again. Anytime! Allison, you couldn't be in safer hands. We're the X-Men. Alright. The attention to detail on this game is really neat. I like, um... I personally, so in the last video that I did this one, I found, uh, okay, I'll hold on one second. We're about to have another conversation here. So I'll go into that. Professor Xavier, I'd like you to meet Allison Crestmere. Hello, Allison. Welcome to the Institute. How are you? A little confused, but I'm okay. That's understandable. Oh, excuse me. I guess the uh, audio cut out there. Whoops. Um, I guess these things tend to happen. So, um, basically, Professor X was asking, would you like gender... A uh, Jin, Jin, Jin. Would you like Jean to show you around, or would you like, or would you like me to show you around? So, since um, I did this a couple of days ago, um, you know what, Nat? I'll just go ahead and run through all the different types of audio conversations that you can have. And also, I found uh, I found a few side quests on this game accidentally. So um, I will be sure to make sure that I, during that time, I will be making sure to make sure I find out how to get to them so that you all can see it. Because I hadn't, I found a couple of them by accident, just from simply making sure that I visit all of the rooms that, that are there. So um, we, I will definitely keep you all posted on that. So for anyone who might be watching, um, going to just run through everything like I did a couple of days ago and then, uh, and then from there we will move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and save state here since I can't use the extraction point. Okay. And you must show. Let's ask some questions. Why was I brought here? You were brought here for your own protection. 
The people who attacked you in New York City were members of the Brotherhood of Mutants. They can be extremely dangerous. So they could come after me again? Perhaps. Which is why it would be best for you to stay at the mansion. At least until we determine exactly why the Brotherhood attempted to kidnap you. Who's the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood is an unruly collection of mutants who consider themselves above humanity. They operate outside the law and use their abilities to further their misguided desires. But what do they want? They've labeled themselves Homo Superior and believe they will inherit the Earth. But they are far from meek. Are you the leader of the X-Men? I prefer to think of myself as their mentor. I leave team leadership to Cyclops or Storm. True. I will go into that later. You together, right? Yes. I started with Cyclops and several others. As time passed, I found more mutants who were capable of handling the responsibilities of being an X-Man. That's right. I asked everything. So I'm going to have Jean show me around instead first, just so some, to show some uh, side conversations you probably normally wouldn't see. I'd like Jean to show me around. It would be my pleasure. As you move from room to room, I'll give you a little information on the X-Men. Once you're done with Jean's tour, come back here and I'll show you the sub basement. Lead the way, Allison. All right, let's go. Welcome to the Xavier Institute, Allison. This place is huge. What is it? This is the Xavier Institute, a school where mutants learn to control their abilities, as well as discovering more about themselves and their place in the world. A school for mutants? I, I didn't know there was such a thing. The fact that the students are mutants is kept secret for everyone's protection. In addition to being a school, the mansion is also home to the X-Men. Cool. I've heard of the X-Men. What room is this? The library is one of the most popular rooms in the house. There's a wide variety of literature here, from Shakespeare to comic books. It's an interesting mishmash of styles, kind of like the X-Men. Who are you? My name is Jean Grey, and I've been an X-Man most of my life. Today, in New York City, were you talking to people with your thoughts? Yes. My mutant abilities deal with telepathy and telekinesis. You're a mutant? Yes, I am. You'd be hard put to find someone around here who isn't. I didn't think there were many people like me. Our numbers are growing, and it's nothing to be ashamed of, Allison. Even though there are a few people who would like you to be. You're telepathic? I have the ability to read minds and communicate mentally. And telekinesis means you can list stuff with your thoughts, right? Exactly. I've grown quite powerful at it over the years, but I doubt I'll ever master it. Thanks for the info. All right. So earlier when uh, there was a comic book I forgot to mention, when you pick them up, they show up here. So press square and then Automatically, Wolverine gets two strike and two agility, permanent bonus. So the next time I use him, he'll have two times as much as he did. Or not two times as much, I'm sorry. Plus two to whatever his stats were before prior. <laughs> Excuse me. Classes are held here Monday through Friday. The students receive a full curriculum in math, history, physics, and a wide variety of other topics. See that I missed a question. Did you have a question, Allison? This house is too cool. Who owns it? The Xavier Mansion is owned by Perfect. Looks as if it hasn't changed since it was first built. Another glitch. Oh, it's had quite a bit of remodeling over the years, but we're very fussy about keeping things as close to the original design as possible. is huge. 
What kind of things are here? The mansion has dormitories for the students, a swimming pool, a library, and a huge lawn should you feel the need to stretch your legs. <laughs> Who's Professor Xavier? Professor Xavier, or Professor X as some call him, is the founder of the X-Men. But perhaps more importantly, he's a teacher. What subject does he teach? Humanities. He's trying to help mutants and non-mutants learn that they can live together peacefully. So, Professor Xavier's a mutant too? Oh yes. <laughs> he's the most powerful telepath alive. Again, if I need more info. Before I say I'm done with the floor, I want to make sure I go through everything. This is here. the sitting room. It's a great place to kick back and relax. Needless to say, this room doesn't get a lot of use by the X Men. This door takes you to the backyard. A little later, you'll have to go out and see the swimming pool. This is the first floor elevator. From here you can go to the second floor, or the sub-basement. I'll skip it for now. In an old house like this, I bet it's just full of cobwebs. You'd think that, wouldn't you? This door leads to the front. Really? My two favorite things are reading romance novels and writing in my diary. I can see we're two of a kind. Later on, we'll have to get together and swap books. Okay, so that's not me, guys. There's quite a bit of uh, audio uh, skipping here. <laughs> Believe it or not, we do take the time to sit down every once in a while and have a meal together, just like any other family. I can't picture any of the X-Men actually cooking a meal. <laughs> you haven't lived till you've tasted Pete's barbecue or Betsy's Cornish Inn. For those who are X-Men fans, you know who Pete and Betsy are. This is the day room. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? We can Sometimes I find it hard to believe there's a high-tech underground level beneath this grand old mansion. An underground level? Oh yes, but I'll leave that part of the tour to Professor Xavier. I always forget about this. So here, uh, this TV right here is where you can review the cinematics that open uh, before you. Today on RVN World oh. News, we examine those game introduction and the like. The brief, I would almost call it like she got in. where you are or what you're about to do. So you can come here to see those again if you like. That's one of them. I'm trying to think of, did I miss a different one? Oh, okay. I'll remember to show everyone the X-Men bios too when I get back over there. Okay. No new questions from Jean Grey. She just has that exclamation point above her head. Let's go upstairs to the dormitories. The second floor of the mansion has bedrooms for many of the X-Men. Feel free to wander around and look in the rooms. This is the second floor elevator. From here, you can go to the first floor or the sub-basement. First room along the right here. This room belongs to Scott Summers. You met him in New York, the guy with the optic blasts. He was the very first X-Man and he's the team leader. Oh yeah, I remember him. He's kind of cute. And he's kind of spoken for. Oh, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, so there is quite a bit of audio skip glitch, so I got the speed right for the game. But, um, yeah, G. Gray was teasing me. This is my bedroom. 
I've lived here off and on since I was a teenager. The X-Mansion is pretty much the only real home I've ever known. I'm hoping that that doesn't cut out really important audio scenes. Bear with me if it does. This is your room, Allison. If you want it. I bet you'd find the mansion a great place to learn about your abilities. I'm not sure if I want to learn about them. After what happened in New York, maybe it'd be best if I never use them again. But Allison, if you don't learn to control your abilities now, they could wind up causing far more damage later on. I suppose you're right. Still, I don't know. Considering what we all know about Jean Grey, she has more than enough reason to reason with her in that way. Did you have a question, Allison? Nope, I just wanted to Thanks. get in the door here. I'll ask again if I need more info. <laughs> this is Hank McCoy's room. We call him Beast, but not as an insult. You'll find out why when you meet him. To look at him, you'd never guess he was such a bookworm. There is something over here. What's over here again? Oh, load screens. Like, um, I think it's great. Like, personally, I can't draw, but if I felt like I would, I think I would be inspired by these. So you can come here and go through all of them. I think uh, that's probably one of my favorites there. And the details of Wolverine's claws is like crazy. Super cool, right? Alright, so the other side of the room here. Yes. This is Rogue's room. You like her. She's a bit of a wild child. She tends to get into trouble? Well, Rogue did a few questionable things before joining the X-Men, but she's proven herself to be an invaluable member of our team. If you don't mind me asking, what can she do? It's a bit complicated, but her power deals with direct skin contact, which is why she always wears gloves. Aurora Monroe lives here. Her mutant abilities allow her to control the weather, which comes in handy with her favorite pastime, gardening. Aurora, what a pretty name. Her code name is Storm. She takes over as leader of the X-Men if Scott Summers isn't around. Bobby Drake stays here. His code name is Iceman. Let me guess. He makes ice. He can freeze almost any object instantly. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. He's a real charmer. This is the home of Peter Rasputin. He's pure Russian from the top of his crew cut to the bottom of his size 18 feet. Never believe a body of steel could house such a gentle heart. Yotha Rasputin is also a, a, an artist, so they created a sketchbook here. So throughout the game, like you know, you'll find danger room discs and comic books. You can also find sketchbooks, and you can come back here and review those. And I think this is really neat. Uh, I have such a great appreciation for it, especially for anyone who can draw. Uh, definitely good to come back. This room belongs to the ultimate man of mystery, Wolverine. Although he's a bit rough around the edges, Wolverine's the best friend you could ever want, and the worst enemy you could possibly imagine. Got it. Stay on his good side. <laughs> so, uh, if you happen to want me to play the game a couple days ago, when I was doing a run through, um, Trivia game. So I'm going to go through it again because I know all of the answers. So for comic book fans and X-Men fans alike, uh, it, these are some really good questions. So, um, I know 
because I played the game so much. And uh, then there's a couple of uh, curveball questions they throw in there, so follow along. Rogue had once been romantically involved with which mutant? The address for the X Mansion is Who was the first X Men? Professor X said it Gateway is not a member of Brotherhood because I played the game before. Cerebro. Cerebro was the machine that Professor X built with uh, Magneto, actually. Head trauma because he fell out of a plane. That label was out of the way. Gambit's father training. Nightcrawler is originally from. We all know she can become the Dark Phoenix. Cyclops' brother is happy. I just now paid attention to the first answer. I think Quicksilver is Magneto's son. But anyway. Laura McTaggart runs research. Uh, technically, Juggernaut is not really a shard of Sidorak that gives him his powers. And Wolverine was forced to say the father of the woman he loved. His father's name was... And these are all really good answers because they're all uh, like Japanese-based. The Shin Jing is... Cyclops' father was the leader of the Star Jing. Who developed Sentinels as a deterrent to mutants? The original X-Men went to the Coffee of Gogo to listen to a beatnik known as Bernard. Bernard the Park. Magneto's outer space base, Asteroid M, has also been referred to as. Well, it's not Genosha because that's the island that he is. Who wears a helmet to protect against psionic attacks? Juggernaut. And his abilities. Uh, he just wears it to protect himself. So we know his adamantium claws. Uh, code name for Kitty Pride. Uh, mm. What was this one? Is it Sprite or Polaris? I think it's Polaris. No, it was Sprite. Okay, ooh, forgot that one. Oops. Uh, Toad's real name is Moidmer. Aside from being a powerful telepath, Emma Frost can also, from the comic books, use hard diamond substance. Unbreakable. Moira's son, Kevin McTaggart, was also known as Protein. The one who lost control of his powers and went on a killing spree. Jean Grey was a member of the club. Uh, Colossus Storm's biggest fear is well, wouldn't be water or heights. Who's in who in this group is a mutant? Well, we know about what is the Xavier Protocol files of all mutants in the entire world. Professor Xavier built Cerebro with me. Professor Xavier and Magneto are friends. You didn't know. Or just a member of which Native American tribe? The comic book X Men 1 featuring the X Men and Magneto appeared in 1963. Mm -mm. Who is next in line to lead the X Men if Cyclops is unable to? Professor X said it earlier. And when I get to the level up screen for those two, you will see that they are the only two who have the leadership bonus to level up. I'll be sure to point that out. Psylocke is from... Let's see, she was put into a body of a ninja, right? But it's not Japan, she's from England. Jubilee lived for a short time she ran away from her foster home. Cyclops. Um, 
solar energy for his epic last year. Shadow King is also known as a Lux took their name from the underground rape novel the time king. Yep. Gambit can charge up. You believe is the unofficial side Against her will, Silex's mind was transferred into the body of Juggernaut received his fantastic powers from the Genesis. A nickname for Socklips is <laughs> that's funny, Bob. That's something that people would say. Slim. Sabretooth and Wolverine work together doing covert operations for the CIA and also became victims of this. So there's a lot. Pet Dragon. Mystique is known as Raven. His favorite hobby, Mission Ray, is Ray. In addition to Wolverine, who has been an experiment of the Weapon X program, just like the Code Sabretooth. Colossus first turned to his metal form when he was stopped from killing his sister Ileana. The first five members of the X based in Gray. When do a mutant's powers normally first activate during the teenage years with hormones? Rogue had once been romantically involved with Oh, I just finished everything. So the reason why I come here and do this first is because you get experience for doing the trivia game. Later on in the game, you're going to be too experienced for these questions to even do anything. But if you come here now, watch what happens when I press back. So, everyone not just now leveled up two, possibly three times. So, let's go back to... I shown you all everything so far. I think so. Did you have a question, Allison? I'm gonna end the tour. I'm done with the tour. If you're done with the tour, go back to Professor Xavier's office. He'll want to take you on a tour of the sub basement. <laughs> Thanks. I'll ask again if I need more info. Right. And I love that the voice actor for Allison is the same woman who played uh, Susie from Rugrats. She's a really great voice actor. I think she, she did a kind of job for her voice acting in this game. Oh yes, so here you can review X-Men Bios. Um, I did go into my in the last video. I'm not going to do that this time. If you want to come here, you can get a a little bit of a background story on every X-Men. So, um, very informative. Very cool to check out. Hello, Allison. Are you ready to see the true purpose of the Institute? Could you take me on the sub-basement tour? Yes, indeed. You see, a majority of this facility is underground so as not to attract the attention of those who mean ill will towards mutant kind. It features state-of-the-art training equipment that helps prepare the X-Men for any challenges they may encounter. This is the war room. From here, we keep a watchful eye on the world for any signs of trouble. This is also where the X-Men meet to formulate combat strategies. What's that holographic globe? That is the mission control computer. With it, you can examine and activate any missions that are currently available to the X-Men. I'll have to take a look at that later. Very good. Now, would you like a tour of the sub-basement, or would you prefer to explore on your own? I'd like a sub-basement tour. Feel free to inspect the rooms. I'll follow along and explain as we go. I decided to go ahead and choose I would like a tour that way. 
tiny little few offices that are audio here that you might not normally see. Hello, my friends. Oh, I'm not an X-Man. I'm just looking around the war room. Professor Xavier said it was okay. I saw this flashing button marked Muir Island, so I pushed it. Are you having trouble there? Yes, the Brotherhood stormed through here. Oh my gosh! Were you hurt? Me? I'm fine. Who are you? My name's Forge. I bet you've got some kind of mutant power, don't you? I have the ability to build any type of machine. <laughs> What was the Brotherhood doing on Muir Island? They broke into my workshop and tore the place apart in search of a particular piece of equipment. What did they want? They took some experimental equipment that masks mutant DNA from scanning devices. Why would they want that? Hmm. I'm not sure. But while wearing the masking device, even Cerebro would not be able to detect them. So the plot changes anytime. So why is the Brotherhood trying to have their DNA unable to be found, unable to be discovered or detected? Beginning with your next away mission, you can visit Forge's workshop through extraction points during missions to buy and sell equipment for your team. Use the tech bits you find as currency. All right, Yuki Masho. Thank you. We're rather proud of it. What in the world? This is Cerebro, a machine designed to locate mutants anywhere on the planet. Is this how you found me? Precisely. We were able to pinpoint you when your mutant abilities began to manifest themselves several days ago. This machine must be really powerful. It is indeed. While wearing that headset, a telepath can feel the heartbeat of almost every sentient... Whoa. Yes. And in addition, Cerebro keeps detailed files on all known mutants. Okay, so the audio put out again there, so... Yes. What Professor X was going to finish saying is that the telepath who can use Cerebro will feel the heartbeat of almost every sentient being on the face of this earth. Potentially overwhelmed and untrained mind. That's the audio that I think is. From within here, I control battle situations that take place in the training room you can see through those windows. The training room has earned the dubious title of the danger room. But the danger room looks completely empty. With the aid of advanced holography, any adversary or environment can be created out of nothingness. The danger room can simulate battle situations from the surface of the moon to 1,000 feet below sea level. Holographs? So nothing in there is real? Make no mistake, while the enemies in the danger room may not be real, the danger certainly is, as the bruises of the X-Men can attest. What's the console over there? That is the Danger Room computer. What's it do? It is the artificial intelligence created by Beast to run the Danger Room. With it, a student... Sounds kind of ah. scary, but fun. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way, Allison, because I would now like to officially extend you an invitation to join us here at the Institute. Your parents hoped you would stay to see if we could help you learn to control your mutant abilities. I... I don't know. This is all happening so fast. There's no rush. This is a difficult decision. So for the time being, consider yourself our guest. Feel free to enjoy anything the mansion has to offer. All right. So there's a little more audio being cut out there. Uh, I'll try to remember what I can when I see it. Hopefully don't miss too much. Hope not to miss too big of uh, information here. 
These are the transport tubes, a quick way of getting to the second floor of the mansion. But I didn't see any entrance to the tubes on the second floor. They're hidden, since the tubes are only used in emergencies. This is the... You keep prisoners? Oh, no, not at all, Allison. But there are those rare occasions when we need to detain an individual before handing them over to the proper authorities. So in here, the brig, where they occasionally have to detain someone. Here you can also see your enemy bios if you want to do a little bit of uh, background, get some information on them, on the story. So that's it. We're heading this way. Oh. Can't go that way. Is my door not opening? Am I, oh, I thought I was stuck in the door. This is our medical facility. We've gone to a great deal of trouble to design equipment capable of handling the special needs of mutants. I... Alright, so we're going to head over to uh, Beasts. This is the laboratory of Hank McCoy, a gifted scientist and engineer. He was one of my first students at the Institute. Isn't he the one they call Beast? Yes, but that code name is a gross misrepresentation of the man. His mind is every bit as strong and agile as his. <laughs> Sounds like the audio is cutting out a lot here. Uh, for what you sacrifice for one thing, you lose for another. So, at least it's not very laggy anymore. <laughs> if you want to have more detail. The hangar bay houses the X-Men's main source of transportation. We call it the X-Jet, a state-of-the-art and constantly upgraded aircraft. Wow, that's cool. Indeed. We keep the X-Jet prepped and ready to take off at a moment's notice. Yeah, so you get to explore this area here. Um, yeah, so if you all want to, you know, be able to make sure that you can see all of the audio conversations that happen from start to finish. I would definitely recommend giving this game a go. Play it through, have fun with it, do, uh, do something different when you play it, level the people up differently, focus on team combos and everything, and yeah, this is a really fun game. You can also have four people playing with you, or you can have three other people. Definitely one of my favorite games. The game gets much more inter interesting as you start to gain more people. It's much more enjoyable. So, so yes, Allison. What can I do for you? I'm done with the sub basement tour. So now that we're done with everything we've seen in the X Mansion, at least at this moment, let's go back to the danger room. Let's do a little practice. So you have all of your levels here. So freshman, sophomore, junior, X Men, Legend. To complete everything, not necessarily everything. You have to complete the certain credit requirements and move on to the next one. However, I found it's, it's really a good idea to just do everything anyway. And then you can unlock um, items too. Um, and then you get valuable training experience and everything. Those combos I was talking about earlier, it's because I played the game enough, I know them. So I'm going to run through these here. Let's go ahead and get a freshman level started and going. And uh, this is pretty much all of the, the training course is activated. Begin. It's all the whole time. That doesn't surprise me. Maybe I don't know. 30 seconds remaining. Great. Superb. Good. Superb. Again. Superb. 
Well done. Your course is now complete. Simple enough, right? So those credits, uh, based on how you complete the challenge, right now everything's really simple. It doesn't really matter. But when things get difficult, um, when you get really in some really difficult training sessions, um, it's pretty cool to be able to get a medal for one of the more difficult ones, like untouchable. I know there's one where you have to survive for four minutes. So, um, yeah. So it's always fun to see, see how many of those uh, honorary medals you can get. You may now begin your course. Low on health, avoid the engaging your enemy. Instead, it is often safer to attack enemies at long range, by moving up and throwing attack. 30 seconds remaining. That would be square. Excellent. You can also grab your enemies and throw them over. An excellent job. You have completed all course objectives. Triple hit. The simplest of the combo is AAA or uh, XXX. You may now begin your course. Some chains of attack moves can pack an extra strength. Example, attacking three times in a row. Yeah. Good. Before the move, press X, X, X. Generating a point. Again. Generating a point. Yes! Another flood. Generating a point. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the course. So that's just saying, you know, training helps you to build your strength. If you're having a hard time in the real story mode, come back here and train up. Sometimes it's really important to do that. You may now begin your course. This is the not path to get Generating a point. Back in to roundhouse. Good. Generating a point. And if you press X twice and then circle, circle, you get a chain, a chain combo. Excuse me. If you press X, circle, 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 you get a new combo that is not. Thirty seconds remaining. An excellent job. You have completed all course objectives. So from two to four hits, so that can be really useful too. What I like about knockback is it can hit more than one enemy or it can make enemies stumble into each other. So that can be really helpful. Helpful when your power is low too. The training course is activated. This is my favorite, the pop up attack. Chain more combos on this. Well done. Generating a point. Well done. Generating a point. One. And one more. Generating a point. An excellent job. You have completed all course objectives. All right. Another level up there. Sure. There's also another really cool one when your power is low. Some clips are aligned. You may on. now begin your course. Generating a point. Again. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. An excellent job. You have completed all course objectives. There. Done. Which is also very useful. I think you may have saw me do it a couple of times this morning so far. Excuse me. You see me the here. training course is activated. Begin. Circle X. Generating a point. Excellent. Done. Generating a And the enemy will get phased momentarily. Generating a point. That would be helpful. Generating a point. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the course. Depending on the fighting style of the X-Men, the stun uh, per person. So you'll 
you'll see that here shortly. Too. The training course is activated. Begin. Generating a point. Good job. Good. Good. Are we having fun yet? If you throw them into each other, that can be really good. Right? And so I'm, for the next couple minutes, I'm going to experience crying. So I'm a level of Allison real quick. And um, this quite a thing to turn into a magma form, plus one might, minus 50% fire damage. It makes her significantly stronger. Uh, it's really cool to use. So I'll do that. I'll do one. And one. She's already at level five. I'll be burning rage for a And then I'll be sure to come back to the fish at another time. Bye. The body is for right now. And. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but after you level up, make sure you press start or it won't save the setup that you had. Now, there might be a case where you might not want or you want to do that. But, you know, if you're trying to level them up and you want the points to save, you want to make sure you press start after you're done. Firing form. Again. Generating a point. 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 Of course, with her form, you know, she's not invulnerable, but she takes way less damage. She does more strength attacks. She has more agility. Um, but as you see, it takes a lot of focus for her to use it. it a lot of energy from her. But it is it does come in handy, though. I did pretty good, didn't I? Generating a point. Thirty seconds remain. So these robots don't get stunned like they would in Generating a, a real story. You see that? Um, I need more power to do that. You see that shred? Remain. Um, really useful. Five. The course objectives were not achieved. You have failed. Oh, I died. I thought, hmm, okay, oops. Well, you don't lose experience or anything if you die in the daze room. Just, of course, the training session just ends. You may now begin your I need to start over here. I need to re-throw them six times, and then I'm going to spam some more energy. Excellent. I'm getting ready to level up again here. See how much damage that is. I'm out of out of curiosity. I want to see if I can level up magma might again to show you how much stronger it is. Okay, I can't. I still have to go out three more mind on that. And I'm gonna save this point so I can put it on Lava Fisher. Alright, let's do this. Generating a point. Generating a point. Oh, now. Ah. Generating a point. 
Well, so since I got those two points, again, I'm going to go ahead and put it on lava fissure. I should demonstrate that for y'all. Everyone has four attacks. So there's that one. That, that moves the fiery blast on A. And this one. That one becomes really cool. The higher you power it up and everything, the more you level it up, it becomes a very useful move. And it can also build uh, bridges. Uh, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Okay, the first mission here. I don't have enough power. Generating a point. If we can't use her, uh, she's not an X Man, so can train in the danger room though. course is now complete. Yes, yeah, so I like to spam experience. You know, the objective was to throw throw the enemy seven times. So I'm throwing six times and then level up a bunch to help out the issue. So also go ahead and do teamwork 101 and 102. It's basically calling for help ten times in a row. That's all. So it's really easy starting out. the uh, freshman classes. So, so everyone is at five and Wolverine is at six to be expected because he has the most experience because he was used at the very beginning of the game. So Cyclops, he has four points. So I'm going to do two strikes. This is the leadership I was talking about. Damage and combo experience bonus to any combo done while on this team. First level is 25% damage plus 5% experience. So that benefits everyone who is out. And then it also speeds up the leveling up for people who aren't even, for, uh, for the X-Men who aren't even being used at the moment. I'm gonna have no leadership. Point leg shot becomes really cool. Whereas uh, if you do a ranged attack in close motion, it does so much damage after, once you start leveling it. So I'm going to hold off other step. I'm going to put one on optic and tactics to see each of the moves that he has. Cyclops is done. Jean Grey is one of my favorites. She is boss on this game. Let that fool you, strike two. She's still crazy strong. So, um, she's one of the people who has more focus, of course, because she does so much with her mind and everything. So, I just one body. She has telekinetic combat and sonic strike for attack. Two there. So body. Put on her telekinetic shell. So my goal is to make sure that you all can see every move that everyone has. So um, she has a shield that lasts 15 seconds, minus 10 damage. It can become useful. Same thing, whirlwind, storm, shield, and one on leader. And when you have Cyclops and Storm both out at the same time, set at the same time, that means that you have 50% more damage and 10% more experience. Oh, I'm going to do the strike. And Wolverine's only got four points. To strike. Right 
low fail wage. So that one's really cool. Wolverine, not only does he get five agility and can block more physical attacks, he also has plus 30% movement speed. So he runs really fast. I haven't seen, um, excuse me, one of the items yet, but there is such a thing called a muscle accelerator. Because basically, how the Feral Rage is a 30% movement speed. If you put that on top and then use Feral Rage, he'll move extremely fast. So some uh, X-Men, depending on their um, defensive status, they have certain other abilities. So let's just go through it real quick. So Wolverine, 5 agility, 30% movement speed. Cyclops is two, plus 2 striking and plus 2 agility for 15 seconds. Jean Grace is minus two damage, and Storms is minus eight damage. So, um, and as you level them up, they all have added benefits that benefit everyone on the team as well. So, just something to be mindful of. And we'll start the mission. Remember, always press start if you want to save. The course is now active. Good luck. This can help you out of a difficult situation. Help the allies in time. Just press L2 in time. And also you can use this to do timing for combos, which means more experience. So let's go to now. Generating opponent. Combo! Combo! That was a blast! Um, okay, I'm sorry guys. Hold on. My, my uh, L... My L2 button is not working. Hold on. We're going to have to change that here. Okay, one second. Okay, we're back. Let's see. Controllers. Why isn't my... Oh. My shoulder button's not working. You don't see it. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna apply that real quick. Generating opponent. Huh. So my L button's not working. I'm gonna try a different button here. Can't finish the challenge without being able to press L. Okay, let's try that. That's really strange. Awesome. I need oh, there we go. Generating a point. Warm up on me. Yeah, I guess I'm really gonna have to press this button really hard because it's well done. Yes. Right. Oh, I think something might be wrong with this controller here. Attack my target. Yeah, I'm having to press this like super hard. Generating a point. I'm in trouble here. Got it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad I found this out early. I might have to move those buttons around a little bit then. Yeah, wow. Okay, maybe the button's stuck or something. See if I can, uh... 30 seconds. Close ranks. I might need to get a knife and get in there and get out. I can't even... X-Men, close ranks. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the course. Wow, oh, that was really okay. So I'm gonna... Ooh, lightning strike.
I'm going to hold off on the second challenge for a little bit because I want to make sure that I have this up and working before I go back there. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see. And turn this way so go across. That's really weird. I'm not sure why I did that. Okay, let's just try it again. I'm going to try it again and update. It also, I might have to restart the game to make it work, but I, it's not super necessary because I know how to create combos and find them with the AI. So not a major deal, but I will go ahead and skip the second one for now. Right. So now we're off to go and talk to all of the X-Men that we can in the mansion. Some uh, extra dialogue here and backstories. Hello, Allison. Are you finding a way around all right? Yes, I'm just exploring. So you and Cyclops are an item, huh? It was a long time coming, but yes, eventually we managed to get together. But isn't it difficult dating someone when you're a telepath? There'd be no surprises. Oh, I would never read a person's mind unless I was given permission. But because of my powers, Scott and I have developed a permanent psychic bond. A psychic bond? Where I go, I can always feel his presence, just as he can feel mine. I guess you could say we're soulmates. What's that beam that shoots out of Cyclops' eyes? It's called an optic blast, and it's powerful enough to punch a hole through carbon steel. Where does the energy come from? Scott's body absorbs solar energy and converts it into power for the beam. Why does Cyclops always wear those glasses? As a child, Scott was in an accident that damaged his ability to control his optic energy. So his power's kind of stuck in permanent on mode. Yes. Fortunately, Professor X created a visor with ruby quartz lenses that block the beam. That way Scott can open his eyes without destroying everything. A little bit of audio cutting out again. I should be going now. Anytime you feel the need for a little girl talk, just let me know. Let's go. Talk to Jean Grey again. Over to Beast. I'm sorry, miss. My sincerest apologies if I frightened you. Are you Hank McCoy? Yes, indeed. Although my code name is Beast, for obvious reasons. I didn't always look like this. My animalistic appearance is due to a further genetic mutation. Aren't you Alison Crestmere? The young lady they aided in New York today? Yeah. I'm sure everyone's heard of me. I'm the freak who can turn a mini mall into mini Pompeii. Alison, my dear. Since you're a scientist, could you explain to me exactly what a mutant is? It would be my pleasure. You see, Mother Nature has a way of changing life forms, experimenting with them to see what would better help a species to thrive in its environment. That's evolution, like what Darwin wrote about. Very good, Allison. Correct. And recently, evolution has decided to endow various humans with an X gene, which is what gives us special abilities. So mutants are really just the next phase in human evolution, and the X-Men strive to be the conscience of this new breed. It's quite exciting. 
The people in New York didn't think it was exciting when I started making... You never know what the future may hold. In the meantime, you have new friends, Allison. A whole mansion full of mutants who know exactly what you're going through. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Beast. My pleasure, Allison. Feel free to drop by any time. Perhaps we could discuss Darwinism in greater detail. So, uh, Allison said, I don't think anyone thought it was funny when I was spitting lava out all over the city. <laughs> yeah, Beast is probably one of the more amiable X-Men throughout the games, comments, and everything. He's always... Seems always appears to be the one who's looking for it. Anyone else? Uh, in all honesty, I don't really use him that much on this game. I'll try to make sure that I use him for everyone to be able to see his moves and everything. Um, it's not that he's not good. Um, he's just interesting to use. He's a little more... Um, You know what, maybe I just haven't used him enough. That could be it too. Maybe I should. So now we are heading up through the ground. Sure, Professor X. <laughs> so, yes, I need to go back this way. Almost missed her. Hey, y'all. Aren't you the new girl? Wow, cool costume. You've got to be an X Man. That's right, hun. My name's Rogue. And you're a mutant. Yep. My power lets me absorb all kinds of things through skin contact. Other mutant powers, memories, even someone's life force if I'm not careful. But it only lasts for a short time and then I return to normal. Or <laughs> at least as normal as I can be. You're lucky. At least you've got a mutant power that's easy to hide. Oh, it's not that easy, Allison. I can never touch someone without taking something from them. Oh. I never thought of that. Once, I bumped into Nightcrawler and I was blue for a week. Night who? Never you mind, sweetheart. You'll know him when you see him. Where'd you get that accent? Come on now, sugar. Y'all don't mean to tell me a yank like you has never met someone from the South? I was in New Jersey once. Well, honey, I grew up in a little town along the bank of the Mississippi River. I'm as southern as mint juleps and magnolia trees. Talk to you later. Don't be a stranger, y'all. Be a stranger, y'all. Come over here. Wow, the scenery around here just improved 100%. Jean said you were cute, but that was the understatement of the century. You must be Bobby Drake. Hey, it's nice to see my name's gotten around. Did the other girls tell you what a cool dude I am? No, but Jean Grey warned me to keep an eye on you. <laughs> oh, well, don't believe everything Jean says. She still hasn't forgiven me for that little incident in the changing room. Man. You enter one room without knocking, and you're branded for life. Guys, listen. Always knock. <laughs> I've heard you have the mutant power to freeze anything instantly. Yep. I can drop my body temperature in the air around me to sub-zero temperatures. It lets me cover my body in a protective shield of ice that even bullets can't get through. Pretty wicked, huh? Yeah, I'll say. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. It's always nice to meet a new student, especially one as pretty as you. Look at Bobby trying to mag. Thanks, Bobby. But I'm not sure I want to be a student. Ah, oh, come on. It's a lot of fun. Plus, you learn how to use your powers. 
I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. You get used to having mutant powers. After a while, eventually, you'll even get to like them. I hope to see you soon, Bobby. Oh, you can count on that, Allison. Is there flirting going on there? I'm not surprised. You know, hot and cold, right? You can't help but be drawn to each other. So now we're heading up to the dormitories. And there is one more X-Men that we can meet right now before our next mission. Why, you must be Allison Kressmere. You're even prettier than Jean said you were. And you are? My name is Aurora Monroe, but here at the X-Mansion, I'm usually referred to as Storm. Where are you from? Yeah. I'm originally from Kenya, Africa, but Professor Xavier asked me to join him here at the mansion. You're a mutant? I'm a teacher and a gardener. And yes, I'm also a mutant. I have the ability to control the weather. No way! I can make it rain, sleet, or snow, even lightning. I can also control the wind, which allows me to fly. <laughs> Professor Xavier told me about the danger room. What's it like in there? Stressful and exhilarating. You can never be sure what the professor or beast is going to throw at you. Aren't you afraid of being hurt? No. There are safety locks. There are safety locks to protect us from serious harm. I'm sorry, I don't remember all the that. I'll see you later. I hope to see you soon, Allison. All right, so on that note, we're going to head back to the sub-basement. Go back to Bobby's room. Now he has a letter he wrote about how Allison is. It's all about Sydney. Um, here somewhere. Maybe it's not. That way. Maybe it's not in here. Yeah. So yeah, like little things like that. When you check back every now and then, there might be something that you didn't notice. Um, please, if you know something about this game that I haven't found, let me know. There are those little moments that really make this game great. It shows the personality of the X-Men, everything. It does speak the end of the person. X-Men, meet me in the war room immediately. With the aid of Cerebro, I've learned the Brotherhood is en route to Alaska. It appears their destination is the facility for the high-frequency active auroral research program, also known simply as HARP. What would the Brotherhood want at HARP? All that facility does is study the ionosphere. That, Cyclops, is what you must discover. The Brotherhood has become extremely active since their attack on Allison, which can only mean something sinister is in the offing. And whatever their plan, we must thwart it before they can set back the cause of human-mutant relations. The HARP facility, eh? This will be an excellent opportunity to test the new cloaking device I've installed on the X-Jet. It should render us completely undetectable to radar. Excellent, Beast. You have your mission, X-Men. Godspeed. All right, so we're going to start our mission here. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think after a while, I just couldn't stop playing it. <laughs> and then I would uh, level everyone up differently every time, so... Definitely one of my favorite games. And yes, I will be using Iceman. So my setup is going to be... Uh, 
gonna have you Ray out here. Probably Jean Gray was Jean Gray. Go from there. But yeah, I love this game. Um, story and the plot is what really gets me. Frank, Iceman. Uh, yeah, we'll go with these four for now. Now this game can get really hard. It's, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's easy to, it's easy to die suddenly. <laughs> from an attack from another enemy. So just a heads up, if you were watching the other day when I was first playing this, you saw it and how easy that was. So, sensors indicate the heart facility has one exterior door, so that's our only way in. We have to get past the facility guards. Once inside, we have to locate the brotherhood, stop them, and get out by their feet. Let's go. Okay. My extraction point doesn't work, so I'm going to do another safe state real quick. Okay. Um, so visit Forge just to see what he has. Items are really expensive, don't really have that much to sell or that much money to play. I'll just come back to the Let's go. So the, uh, I, I leveled up both of his attacks, so this one does wide damage and knocks everyone back. I'll show you. you need a That's what that one does, and then he has his thinner, stronger light, stronger optic blast attack. And then I leveled up everyone's defensive items as well. Like Iceman, I think he's bulletproof, so he can be really useful on this part. He has his ice shield. So. This is supposed to be a miniature cinematic here. But I'm going to avoid it. So let's go around. So ice can build bridges. In case you didn't know, Gene okay. Gray can too. Great. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of HP starting out, so it's pretty easy to lose her power. However, she is really strong. You protect her and keep her alive. Definitely see it. Just we'll see how much she benefits. I went the back way. Normally there will be a flamethrower guy here uh, blocked up this area. So if you didn't have Iceman, you wouldn't be able to. I find it better to just go around the back and do it. Oh, I didn't show. So we'll ring Spell Rage. Watch this. Not fast in runs. Plus thirty percent movement speed and five plus five agility. Let's see what you got. So, move five transform is destroyed. So that's what I'm looking for to destroy them so we can enter the harvest. Um 
Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see your message. Uh, yes. Yes, this game can be very difficult. Uh, <laughs> um, I found out a couple of things along the way that helped make it a little bit easier, but still, if you're not careful, you can, you can get KO'd pretty easily. You really do have to think and strategize. <laughs> Uh, part of the reason why I like having Wolverine out because you know he's got his healing factor, like his power is already coming back after being hit. It'll be cool again in like five seconds. So the only X Men who can do that. Oh, they all came out of nowhere. Yes, that's one of my favorite moves by Jean Grey. Psychic Shout. It attracts strike and agility from your enemies, so they move slower. Then on top of that, if you freeze them with Ice Man's move, this freeze blast, they move even slower. So that can help you out when you have uh, difficult moments. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to think about what you do. Exhausting in a good way. Score one for the kids. Another thing I like to do with Jinger, I like to pick up enemies and toss them into the wall. <laughs> It's strong enough, she can okay. pick up cars? Yeah, she can pick up anything at, at some point. So you notice her fighting style is a little bit different. Uh, when you level that up, she gets even stronger than that. So uh, let's see, where am I at? On the comic book. Oh, I haven't updated her uh, light. Uh, this is her shield. I'm gonna use everybody's defensive move here. Will do. You bet. Right. Minus ten damage. Jean Grey's uh, melee attack is off the charts. You start creating her uh, telekinetic combat. It's really helpful. As you can see, I kind of, uh, I like to use the telekinesis. <laughs> Even if you leave her telekinesis at level one for the entire game, it's still one of the best moves on the game. I definitely would say I think my favorite character is definitely Iceman. Like I really like having G Grey out. Uh, Iceman is definitely one of my favorites. We'll level it up again. Another 
for attack. Okay, attacks. Okay, gray. I'll get her one, two, three. Eventually, I want to make sure I can get a kill out of that. You see how uh, that costs a lot of EP, so um, basically, she would only be able to fly for three seconds. So, there's no point in really me leveling that up right now unless I preserve five points specifically for flight. So, um, I'm going to try to do something a little different this time. Um, oh, I forgot about the second. Cyclops, point blank attack is dope. I'm going to wait on that though. And I'm going to level up. Another safe state here since you can't use the distraction at all. Careful not to select load state, right? So that tank is deadly. You want to get rid of him right away. Get rid of him right away. The best person to use is either Wolverine or Iceman. There's a little bit of a glitch here. It's not letting me... I'm attacking it, but it's not breaking. Yeah, so uh, beware glitches, guys. They do happen on this game. Uh, one time I fell through the flooring and had to start all over. Now we are going to the outer grounds. Oh yeah, Wolverine is like hands down. He's like the only one that I pretty much don't worry about. And if I'm using someone different and then I switch back to him, he has full health, full EP. Like Wolverine is beast. And watch those because those explode. I almost killed G-Rain. <laughs> Thank you, Iceman. So sometimes if you do that, uh, the AI will be able to react to you. Um, you aim at it. If you aim at the fire, he'll put it out himself. Instead of you having to switch to Iceman and do it. So that can be useful too. Sometimes they don't do it though. Just a heads up. Is that a skill point up here? So in case you didn't know, there is a point up here as a skill point. You're trying to level up uh, someone's, give them a status boost or something. That's one way you can do it. I think I'm going to give it to being gray because she has that telekinetic combat and her psionic strike. Let's see what you got. Be careful because you can fall off the cliff. That is very possible. You are 
so tough. I do that too. Also, my quick play if you get more experience, you see that it almost tripled my XP. I hope I'm not making anyone dizzy with the camera. Uh, it changes a lot to an angle that I don't like. So I, I do spin it often. Okay, now I'll show you guys something. I'm gonna go back around the other way and come back. If you're not careful, you can die. Everyone can die on that bridge. Back over here to show y'all what I mean. Also, if you have flight, do not fly over the bridge. Do not fly over the bridge, or the game will freeze and you'll fall. So, yeah, um, I'll show you here in a minute. Hey, where's the arena? Oh, okay, perfect example. Sometimes the AI walk off the cliff, and this time it was Wolverine this time. So be wary, those things do happen. <laughs> I didn't even see him walk off. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he must have tried to hop over where I was walking at. So those things happen. Okay. And another camera angle I'm not filling. everybody up here okay. and then I'm about to show y'all why you don't why you want to avoid this bridge here or why you don't want to be on it you see those explosive things so um, if you walk on the bridge the game will pause and you'll hear you'll get some uh, audio saying that the enemy is going to blow out the bridge look out However, you can also use Jean Grey if you see someone on the bridge. I always stay farther back so we don't die on it. You can use her to pick up one of those bombs and blow it up herself. So I threw, I threw it in the, um, I threw one of the barrels at the explosive one and then it blew up the bridge. So uh, if you try to fly over that, the game will pause and you'll immediately stop flying and fall to the ground and you won't have a chance to jump and you will instantly die. It's another glitch in this game, but it happens, so. Uh, yeah, if you lose someone, you can't use them for, I know, right? Wolverine's like the best. Um, you can't use them until you get to an extraction point and change team, or um, you have to have a certain amount of tech books to revive them. And you know, I'm just starting out, so I pretty much, I don't even know if I would have enough to revive anyone right now. Um, but yeah, so that's usually what happens. So yes, fair warning, sometimes the computer players, the AI do walk off the cliff. On that note, I thankfully do have three other people to choose from. So I can't buy him, but I'm probably not going to at this moment. I'm going to go ahead and put Storm on, since she has leadership and boost everybody's experience. And, oh, I almost forgot about her uh, point boost. One on Sonic Strike. That's two there. Her 
Lightning Fury yet. Oh, Lightning Fury first. And uh, let's go. Jean Grey and uh, Storm have the same fighting stance. So once you get them up to their level of fury, that's how they're going to attack. And then once uh, they're leveled up all the way on their melee, their attack style changes and it becomes much more, much stronger, much more deadlier. Time you freaks learn a lesson. Sorry about that. No! Oh, yeah. All right, Cyclops leveled up again. Oh, I didn't even see this guy back here. Looking for, I think we have three more transformers to destroy. Right. I'm gonna switch to Storm for a second here. You're going down. Come on. I don't love the whirlwind. It just tosses them everywhere. Every which way. Oh, I haven't leveled up flight. I keep remember, keep uh, getting to do that. Um, you know what? I'm probably not going to do it though, because they don't have enough EP right now to really fly that long anyway. So I'm just gonna hold off on it. Let's see if Iceman will do it again here. So yeah, sometimes the AI doesn't respond to it. You have to do it yourself. <laughs> I don't recall. Oh, there is something back here. That's right. Okay. And in doubt, throw them into a wall. Done everything we can on this part. Help right. Caplet flying around, deal everybody up here. Okay. Well, there's a disc down there that I need. They're up, oh, they're up here. That's people. They're danger in this. So that one said challenge beast. So every X Men has their own set of challenge in the danger room to make them much stronger. However, you can't use the reward until you reach level 20. I'm going to hold off on doing that to uh, preserve my um, 
space. Preserve my item space here. Alright, so they started to fire, so you can climb up the building and go around the back. Back here. Nope, I think we got them all. Oh, okay. I was I was like, so so that's a glitch. I didn't even see that guy up there. <laughs> so uh, okay, so I think we've done. Is this the part? Oh, okay, yes. This part is really going to be really difficult. Um, try to, again, get rid of the tank first. Put everybody's defensive armor on and then just blitz. Blitz for the tank. All right. I'm going to have Iceman do it this time. Put up this, the fires for everybody. Avoid those missiles. Oof. If I didn't have my shield on, it would have been way more than that. So, it's glitching a little bit again. You should be able to attack it from the back. But it wasn't letting me there. I don't think we missed anything, so we're gonna go into the tower. I think if you forget a transformer, it'll make you go back and find it. So yeah, we're gonna go. Oh, uh, Rise of Apocalypse? Yeah, um, it wasn't too bad uh, for me. Um, I think maybe I might have done the game out of order. It seemed like, it seemed a little bit more complicated than this one, but you know what, I think I might try to play it again through myself as well. Um, I remembered, I think I got almost toward the end, and I didn't even realize where I was at. I think I had done everything before. I think I should just try it again. Nice. Um, some tactics plus four striking and agility. Um, agility. About, um, about one of my nice armor, my 10 damage. Okay, Indian Gray. Oh yeah, I feel it definitely. I love playing old school games. Um, yeah, I, I know everyone's probably out and went and bought the PS5 already, but I still have my PS2 because uh, I like uh, Dance Revolution. That's my game. <laughs> I used to. Uh, oh, that's that's a rare item there. Um, I used to be able to not even do beginner on uh, EDR, but I got to a point now where I can do double expert. So, um, 
Yeah, I'm definitely always gonna have a PS2 or something. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't heard much about it yet. You're going down. I just remember it being released. I'm on it. Okay. You bet. You can't go forward, look for a wall to break through. There will always be something you can do. I normally use Iceman because he, he's got the the cold smash behind his attacks. Okay. Watch this guy right here. Get rid of him right away. He can one shot, one shot or two shot everybody in like a few seconds. The guy who has the physical resistant green swirling around him, get rid of him right away. You will KO your whole team. I don't know why I just felt the need to destroy the full team. Okay, anyway. Oh, nice. At all. Other guy ran again. I don't know where he ran. Oh, there he is. Yeah, definitely. I always recommend playing this game. So when someone is physical resistant, I normally just uh, just switch to um, Jean Grey and have her wreak havoc. So whatever someone's resistant to, you want to find out something they're not resistant to and go with that. Someone's energy resistant, use Wolverine or use someone who has physical attacks. You're going down. Ooh. I almost died. These are both explosives. I think it does like 150 damage. So don't hit that. <laughs> There's another guy. That's the move right there, the little ice move he shoots. Yeah, it, it is so deadly. Don't even let him use it once. Blitz him. I think I got everything here on the first part. If you want, you can also go through, break through some crates for some extra things. Uh, I don't have flight available yet. Let's see if I can jump across. Nope. Uh, that's another thing you could do if you have flight uh, enabled. You could fly it there, see what's in the crates. Sometimes you can find some really cool things. Sometimes you find uh, over leveled outfits, oh, oh, way over leveled outfits that you will be able to use for, I don't know, a long time. If you want, you can, you can sell them and get some uh, major tech bits for them, or you can just hold on to it. I'll do it until later. From personal experience, there, there, that one right there in the middle is explosive, so don't hit it. Trying not to. The first time I played this game, I went right over, right on over, and blew up my whole team. Yes. 
Remember, green guy. Get the green guy. He's physically resistant. He tries to run away. So I get a uh, green gray to slow him down. Get working. Come back here. There is a danger room. This, yep, hiding in the corner here. Vine towers 102. Ooh, my cops can use that. So uh, let me switch. Put that on Cyclops real quick here. So yeah, so I didn't actually, I don't think I explained that yet. So um, basic targeting implant, it allows you a 2% chance of a critical when you use his optic blast. That is similar to your team. So if you have both, if you level that up along with the outfit, you have that much higher percent of a chance of getting a, very, a critical attack. And especially, I think, especially for Cyclops, when he gets a ranged critical attack, it is like extremely overpowered. I remember once I'm doing like 300 some damage in one hit. So uh, yeah, it can be really, those uh, odd moments can be really helpful. It may not happen all that often, but other times they do. So you just want to be mindful of it. All right. Here. You bet. We'll do. Yeah, we'll win this so cool, man. <laughs> so I'm right up in the air. Uh, as I'm sure you all have noticed, the X-Men love to talk smack. Which makes it even more humiliating if you end up dying. Heads up. Yeah, get her. Get the green guy. We're ready to move on here. Just wanna open up some crates, to find some stuff. A little bit of stuff that's there. I might actually have enough to buy something. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just wait. Will do. You're going down. That worked out perfectly. I was trying to aim for the explosives. 
Wow, one hit. Yeah, and I hope I'm hoping I'm not making anyone busy with all the camera turning. That's one thing I don't like about this game, it makes it really uh It makes them a uh, very. Sorry, I, I want to get rid of this guy. Okay, got him. All right, I'm good now. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, the camera angles—they're kind of—they're not the greatest. There's another guy. Get him. Don't even let him. Nope. Get him, get him, get him. Okay. Ah. Got a range. Okay. See if anyone needs. I'm not struggling. Will do. I'm not too bad. Okay. Okay. Take your bad beauty. Yes. On Cyclops. All right. Probably good. Okay, he probably wasn't as close as the top. Don't hit the explosive. No wonder the ladies love me. Hits to the back. Mount, it's about. You're going down. Yes. I'm great for this dude. I can make quick work of him. See that move? He only got one of them off. Yeah, I got the second one off. I definitely would have died. Can't use that yet either. Stops locking the door. Come on, dude.
Everybody is healed yes. up here. Yes, will do. Just real quick, see what he's got for us. I always like to get a muscle accelerator as soon as I can, but uh, it's 2000, so I don't have enough for it yet. One or two, I could sell these. Minus 20% physical damage and stun immunity, but I can't use it until level 18, and I'm only at level 7. I can't use that until 16, I can't use that until 15. So if you want, you can sell it, but the chances of finding it later, it depends on if you find it or not. I don't know if you can actually buy those from him. You might be able to hire you get, but... Um, but right now you can't, so I'm just going to hold on to that. I'm going to give uh, Ray Muscle Accelerator. You can, that way she can get a critical hit on some of her combos. Um, that's why I can't use the, uh, um, let's keep together, X Men. All right, guys, hold on. I, uh, Put it in full screen mode by accident here. Uh, I'm not sure how I did that. Oh shoot, I don't know how I did that. Yes. Make sure y'all can see the screen. Okay, there we go. Alright, yes. now we're good to go. Let's do this. Alright. Go. Who are you people? You're not supposed to be here. Alright, we're here too. You X-Men are traitors to your own species. And I'll see to it you don't get another chance. Bloody well said, mistake. Those X gits always nose us up when they should they should be helping us. Let's wipe them out before the Sentinels get us all, eh? Sentinels. Pyro, destroy them! That's quite the foreshadowing. Sentinels were supposed to have been deactivated years ago, right? Let's do this. Okay. Better luck 
next time. I'm on it. Yes. Oh, yeah. I should have been using that move. I forgot about that. Iro is merciless to that move. Oh! Down she goes. Oh! Okay, I think we're glitched. I can't hit him. Okay, hold on. I can't hit him anymore. I was wondering why. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, there we go. That's... I was wondering why he didn't get hit the second time. The game froze for a second there. Just what I needed. So, yeah, sometimes glitches can, can mess you up a little bit. And I'm going to go back and replace her. Because we're going on to a part that's really difficult. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Note to self, if you use uh, Whirlwind on Pyro too many times, he'll get upset and become immune to it. <laughs> Rogue out. Rogue. And uh, Rogue isn't extremely strong, but... So just to have it available, I'm going to put her flight all the way up so I haven't done it for anyone else. And then I'm going to a mic for attack. Sometimes uh, those glitches can really catch you off guard. Uh, other times, that one was a glitch, but other times the game's just hard. Uh -oh. <laughs> Got it. Rogue doesn't have a lot of focus, but I put her flight all the way up, and it does almost nothing. Uh, All right. The game's over, X Men. Yes. Oh, almost hit that. Body enhancer. Put everybody up. Careful, bro. Careful, bro. I'll see you again, X Men. So much power. No, that will explode. No, don't attack it. I'm over here, guys. <laughs> when that little aim 
that little green aim button pops up, they'll attack whatever you are attacking. So I'm not trying to blow everybody up here. You are destined to lose X-Men. I need help right now. I thought this was feeling too hot. I didn't think I could get any cooler. This isn't over. Ooh. Uh oh crap. Okay. Whew. I thought the game was over. <laughs> it did freeze there for a minute. There's a comic book hiding in that there. An eye out for that. Okay. Um, I thought that uh, the game had froze for me for good on that one. That's when you thought you were getting to the end. You still have a little bit of a ways to go before you complete this first part. And I'm actually a little hungry, so I'm gonna take a minute here and order some food. I don't feel like going out. And then, I will uh, continue playing here. Sounds good. I'm trying to remember what I got last time here. Um, You know what? I have a better idea. So I'm not uh, looking at my message screen right now, but what is everybody else getting into this weekend? Let me know and I'll respond ASAP here.
for those of you who don't know, I have I am vegan. I have been vegan for a little while now. I didn't stop eating meat because it didn't taste good. <laughs> I just noticed that it affects my um it had been affecting my stomach the way I had been eating. So since I have cut it out, my life has gotten much healthier. I don't have that uh, inflammation in my stomach that I used to notice all the time. I just never really, uh, kind of never really addressed it. So, um, so I try to, try to steer clear of it. That's just my experience anyway. Thank you everyone for watching. Something that I want to make sure I do more often, or as, as often as I can anyway. Things have been pretty busy lately.
Ну, 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 So I don't miss the call. All right, everybody. So I'm back. I just step away for a second. Um, Love to butt out. All right, you're. Yeah, I understand. I used to be heavy on meat any as well. Uh, my favorite thing was uh, pork kielbasa and some um, and some homemade hash browns with an avocado. Just the greatest thing. And I also make my own bread from scratch too. So um, you know, you just can't go wrong with meat and bread. It doesn't matter if it's pizza, if it's a sub, it just doesn't matter. Uh, no, I don't think Twitch is down. I just, uh, oh, no, you're okay. Uh, I should have been more vocal about me stepping in. So I'm back. Safe. Hope is out now. People, I think, starting out down here physically resistant. So I try to stick with Jean Grey. Yes. Such low. They can one shot her. So you really have to watch her. They will take her out. Second. And since Rogue has flight. Man. This point blank shot is cool. When you start leveling that up, he can freeze more than one person at a time. So that can be really helpful. I'll go ahead and Yeah, this, this game is pretty hard. Just kidding. But yeah, I do too. Much harder. The game's over, X Men. So sorry about that. Oh, gotta love when your memory cards are full. Gotta move some stuff around. Ah, they're in the way. Get him. Takes us all out. He's low. I'm gonna switch over to him real quick. And I scan. Uh, they're energy resistant, so use rogue, and she can reflect a certain amount of um, damage back at them. I didn't put up her bulletproof shield, but that does the same thing as well. We 
when you upgrade uh, Rhodes' uh, might all the way, she can pick up cars. And yeah, she's like crazy. Got it. Get her up there. This is another part where sometimes the AI likes to walk off the edge, off the cliff. So I try to um, get up, get on, get across. Oh, they won't die. Will do. The game's over, X Men. Guys, please. Okay. Whew. Never know what to expect. <laughs> Better luck next time. I don't have enough energy. Oh, they're physical resistant. Okay. Thanks, man. Gotta pay attention to those resistances. Woo! Okay. Everybody's getting it. The ass handed to them. I'm on it. This is what I was talking about earlier. That's why you need Wolverine. Come on. Got it. Whew. We almost died there. And oh man, on the other hand, we are about to all level up again. Yes. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. If I had Wolverine out, none of that would have happened. <laughs> Fiber armor. Banana fiber armor is nice too. This gives you damage as well. Like the effect of a shield without using it. So usually give it to Jean Grey because she's like got the least amount of AP. And if I don't baby her, she's like the first person to die. Yeah, we tried to blow up that explosion thing on me. They do that on purpose. That had to hurt. I thought you were tougher so than that. Power. Combo. Ah, everyone leveled up too. And uh, we're not done yet. There's a whole other section we have to do before we can move on. So I'll level up everyone again real quick because we definitely need it. We need all the strength and skills we can get. Okay. Six engines. I didn't need to do that. I pressed auto. Um, yeah, I'm going to do telekinetic combat first. 
see how much it jumps up for the next level. And I'd like to make sure I have that. Green or bulletproof. Night is not. Go ahead and put might all the way on. And on this. And focus. Yeah, Wolverine is like one of the best people to just have out. <laughs> Yes, it was. Eh, I don't really need anything right now, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe I can throw this guy off the cliff. You are destined to lose, X-Men. No, they wouldn't let me. Okay. I think you would get like a hundred some experience. Good. Whatever you do, don't pick that up and try to walk with it or they'll shoot you with that green laser thing. Blow you up. The game's over, X-Men! Another sketchbook. Okay, basic weakness analyzer. So only can wear that. Right. I have three weaker versions. I want to go ahead and give uh, uh, Iceman his cold smash. Ice for cold smash. Fifteen to eighteen damage. With all the melee attack we can get. Again, you know the drill with bridges, they like to fall off, so just hurry up, run across, get across, and then regroup everybody. Yes. Score one for the good guys. Those physical, resistant, energy resistant guys, they cannot handle anything mental. Being gray can sweep the floor with them if you protect them baby If not, they will, they will take her out in one hit. Uh, yeah, Jean Grey can be, um, which, which I get why they made her so, uh, easy to 
knock out because she's just, she's got so much power. Um, you know, like even now you can see it even now. So, um, she only gets stronger from here. <laughs> and I hope to be able to record, uh, long enough for y'all to be able to start seeing that, how deadly strong she can get. Right, so now we are finally, finally, finally at the end of this chapter here. Uh, we got to fight Toad. This area, this one is prone to glitches too. That's why I'm glad I went on ahead and did a save state since I can't use the extraction point. So just a heads up in case he starts hopping off the cliff or something. Come back here, you twits! Bloody hell! That's the third flipping tom this month! Watch that tongue. When he has multiple resistances, you can't do any damage to him at all. You have to wait till he takes it off. And then... Multiple resistances again. Now, did you see how much damage that was? That's what happens when you do a combo when you have Cyclops leadership level. What are you doing there on the floor? You're going down. Get rid of the physical resistance, dude. And then, of course, make sure he doesn't escape. Break the Ooh, break the ship so he can't run. See how much damage that is. And jump over it. <laughs> Try to jump over it in slow motion. That's fine. Okay. Okay. That was was the game was about to glitch there, but I guess last minute he got over it. So. Yes. Jump away. Yeah, I think it would be even more damage if you had, uh, what? I was nowhere near that. Um, <laughs> if you had Storm out too, it would be even more damage than that. That's probably why it glitches. Because I think the game probably has a cap on how much they want you to be able to do. So, um... You know, they attack, they do so much damage. Yeah. Fine bunch of superheroes you are, eh? The entire lot of you knocking on me. That's oddly fair. What was the brother doing at the heart facility? Who should I bleed now? I can't even give them to give me a lift. You mentioned Sentinels when we first saw you. Sentinels? I don't recall saying any such thing. You're hallucinating, you are. Yes, you did, but the last sentinels were deactivated years ago. I swear on the grave of me at Beatrice, I don't know nothing about no sentinels. You know what happens to a toad when it's thrown out of a jet at 20,000 feet? Uh, no need getting rough on me. I was just having a little fun, I was. <laughs> Talk, or we'll take you on a one-way ride in the x -Gen. Okay, okay, look, Mystique wanted a location that was stored on the computers here. What did Mystique want the location? I don't uh, know, honest. But now that they've got it, Mystique was saying the day of reckoning's coming soon. Not rightly sure what that means, but I bet you ain't gonna like it. Who was this anonymous friend that told Mystique the information would be here? Well, if I knew, he wouldn't be anonymous, now would he? Let's go. The Institute's brick should improve to us. Here now, I'd be far more likely to talk if you were to be nice to me. Great job, mission accomplished, but your work isn't done yet. So, uh, yeah, so that's the first chapter there. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep playing here for a little while. Um, 
Oh yeah, Jean Grey's always been powerful in comics. I was kind of hoping that they would have made it to where she could, if you use her energy too much, that she would turn into the Dark Phoenix and would start hurting a team or something. I think that would be really cool. It's been two days now since I came to the Institute. I still haven't she decided on fire I'm and everyone starts getting fire damage. Bobby Drake sure makes it seem second. awfully inviting. Oh, it was sorry. exciting hearing about the X-Men. I guess I'm getting caught up in all this X-Men superhero business. I didn't mean to be talking while Allison was talking. Um, but yeah, so first step is done. So we're outside the X-Mansion. She was writing in her diary. And uh, if you come up here, I didn't know this for quite a few times that I played this game until I started exploring more. And I've Excuse me, a rare dialogue with Iceman. Hello, Allison. You're looking most excellent today, but then you look most excellent every day. Who is that Toad guy they brought back? Toad? He's a member of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? Is he dangerous? Only to himself. The Brotherhood treats him like a court jester, always playing tricks on him. Why he puts up with all their abuses beyond me. Can you tell me anything more about the X-Men's trip to the Heart Facility? Yeah, I guess there was a lot of equipment at the facility that had nothing to do with studying the Aurora Borealis. So if they aren't studying the sky, what are they doing? Professor X thinks the government might be using it as a high-tech headquarters for storing sensitive information. Stuff they don't want regular people to know about. You know, things like Area 51, the man on the grassy knoll, old disco songs from the 70s. <laughs> I heard someone say Toad mentioned sentinels. What's a sentinel? They're mutant hunting... Mutant hunting machines. Yeah, you could. I'll go back to... I heard someone say Toad mentioned sentinels. What's a sentinel? They're mutant hunting machines. But the government shut that program down years ago. I'm sure Toad's just talking smack. See you later, Bobby. See you later, beautiful. So that's cool there. Cool little dialogue you can get. Yeah, most definitely. I think if they gray, if they would have made it possible for her.
on the roofs too much because they do become very low. And uh, I'll go ahead and say it because no one really, probably would really know what it is at this time. Especially when you get the mask of Zoran because you can just keep using it over. And of course, on the other hand, you know, Gray's kind of useless up against Sentinels, so um, I think they kind of balanced it out okay. The fact that she can't do too much damage, um, or the fact that she doesn't have too much health, excuse me, and um, robots. a lot of things are... Um, a lot of things as the game goes on do become mental resistant. So it makes it a little bit harder to use her. But I mean, even if they're mental resistant, that doesn't stop her from using telekinesis and throwing them somewhere. So, uh, like one thing I think is if someone is uh, mental resistant, I still use telekinesis and I throw them into a wall over and over. They might be mental resistant, but they're not physical resistance to the sun to a wall. I really like um, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's good. non-X-Men people you can talk to. I found this out as well. The Danny. I'm a little new to the whole mutant lifestyle. Got any tips for me? about general things great later. She heard sentinels again. Um, I'm seems pretty fearful of sentinels. Nice to meet you. What's it like being a student here? Froze. 
I guess everyone thinks Cyclops is fine, huh? Hey, you're that new girl everyone's talking about. What's your name again? I'm Allison Crestmere. <laughs> I got here just a few days ago. Right. Good to meet you, Allison. And you are? The name's Jubilation Lee, but everyone around here calls me Jubilee. Oh. Cool. Yeah, well, I wanted to be called Rogue, but that code name was already taken. Really? <laughs> no, not really. And you are? The name's Jubilation oh. Lee, but. Every... Yeah, well. I... Really? <laughs> Sorry, guys. The, um. Sorry about the guys, the dialogue box is uh, freaking up here on me. Where are you from? I was born in Beverly Hills, California. Then my parents died, so I spent some time at a juvie hall in LA. But I had a lot of run ins with the management, so I took off and lived in a Hollywood mall. That must have been terrible. Yeah, it was kind of a rough time. But the mall was cool. I mean, you know, I swiped whatever I needed. And I got real good at keeping two steps ahead of those lame old security guards. Then the mall went and hired a bunch of mutant hunters to track me down. Luckily, Storm, Psylocke, Rogue, and Dazzler were shopping there that day. <laughs> so you're a mutant? Nah, I'm the gardener. Oh, my mistake. You look like a student. <laughs> Jeez, Allison, you'll believe anything, won't you? Hey, I'm new here. I don't know anybody. Okay, okay, cool your jets. I'm just playing with you. Of course, I'm a mutant. <laughs> What's your mutant power? I generate this really bright energy from my hands. It's great for temporarily blinding people. And what's even cooler is, I can make it explode. No way. Yep, I call them fireworks. So, what's your mutant power? I can make people's heads explode. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? No, no not, not really. really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Yeah, looks like you and me are going to get along just fine. <laughs> I'll see you later, Jubilee. See you around, Allison. Jubilee is really cool, actually. Um... Another one of those um, ice wings is kind, kind of odd to use, but if you level her up right, she can be pretty odd to use. A lot of destruction. So. Okay, you have like a camera. Like Jubilee, Canva. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot what I'm looking at. It's really good.
Guten Tag, Fräulein Krestner. Ha! A thousand pardons. I did not mean to scare you. Who are you? My name is Kurt Wagner, but normally I use the name Nightcrawler. That's a very cool name. Danke. That was my performing name when I was a famous acrobat known all over Germany. Perhaps you have heard of me. No, I can't say that I have. Pity. I do so love the spotlight. But perhaps what I loved the most was people's assumption that I was just a regular human dressed in a devil's costume. That trick of yours is pretty neat. How does it work? It is teleportation. Wow. You can travel anywhere? Almost. I must be able to see the place I am teleporting to. Otherwise, I might appear in a wall or tree, which would be most disagreeable. Could you tell me about the Sentinels? Sentinels are pure evil in mechanized form. For a time, the government funded a program that built those mutant killing machines. How do Sentinels work? They are programmed to scan for mutant DNA and then kill any and all mutants. Their shielding and weapons were built to withstand all but the most powerful attacks. <sighs> I have battled them before, but God protect me should I ever have to again. What's it like fighting a sentinel? Ah, oh, it is terrible. I re oh. I'm going to come back to him. Bye, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison. I'm not going to play this part here. Okay. this part here. Okay. Okay. So. Continue the story plot. I'm going to go right to here and I will come back the rest of the conversation. I was hoping to see you today. I wanted to let you know that I've decided I'd like to become a student at your school. That's excellent news, Allison. You've made a very wise choice. Thank you, sir. The Institute does seem to be the best place for me, at least for now. Now that you're a student, I'd like very much to test your mutant abilities. my abilities? You mean in the danger room? Yes, if you don't mind. But what if I fail? There is no grade for this test. It's merely a means to measure the full extent of your powers. That way we'll know better how to deal with your particular needs. Hi, Professor Xavier. How are you? I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. That's understandable. Okay. I'll try. But don't expect much. Don't worry, Allison. Just do your best. Alright. Now we're going to test your powers. And it's basically in a controlled environment. So 
Right. So she's in the danger room, so I am going to put some points on her. It's been a while since we've used her. I even get the really use anything again, so I'm gonna put that strike. Yeah, they all like to talk to Guess you couldn't take the heat. <laughs> Get the guy in the back first. He's got more uh, experience. I think you get 211 from him. Yeah. is only an exercise you are in a minimal amount of jeopardy.
Oh, let me level up her point real quick. That'll increase her uh, melee up a little bit higher. What is it? Yeah, burning range up to 15 to 18. Muscle accelerator for now, too. Guess you couldn't take the heat. Let's go for the guy with more experience. Professor, I haven't seen energy readings like this since... The Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So Allison has the potential to become her own sort of magma phoenix. Where she had better learn to get that under control, huh? Hmm. Are you all right, Allison? I'm fine, Professor Xavier. And I'm really sorry about destroying the danger room. I, I don't know what happened. I just sort of lost control. Not to worry. This type of thing happens all the time. Besides, I think it gives Beast an excuse to make modifications to the equipment. Well, I've had enough. I'm never setting foot in the danger room again. I understand this was a very trying experience, but at some point you must try again. It's the only way you'll learn to master your powers. But I won't need to learn about my powers if I never use them again. That wouldn't be a wise course of action. I encourage you to take some time off and rest. When you feel better, come back to the danger room and try again. I don't know, Professor Xavier. Let me think about it. Now she's all upset because she destroyed the danger room, lost control of her powers, doesn't want to use them ever again. So, uh, it's very disheartened right now. I do like how they created her personality on this game. It's like you grow to. Uh, you really like her personality. She kind of grows on you. Um, I'd say she's probably one of my favorite characters in this game, personality-wise. I kind of hope that they would have put her in a... Uh, I don't know why they didn't put her in Instant Legends. I think... Um, they What would be really cool is if they decided to make another a more updated X-Men Legends, uh, where like a sequel to Magma and everything. I think that would be great. She definitely deserves more.
good, so I was a bit traumatized right now. And uh I have some more dialogue conversations with her next minute. The first person I usually like to take her to is uh, G-Frame. Great uh, about people can totally relate. Not in there. Hello, little girl. Come to talk to Toad, have you? I... I, I don't know if I should. Come now, dearie. Surely you're not frightened of poor old Toad. No. I, I'm not afraid of you. Is Toad really your name? No, my real name's Mortimer Toynbee, but they call me Toad because of how I look. Say, would you mind letting me out of here for a few ticks? Just to stretch my legs? Not if you gave me a million dollars. Oh, come on now. I promise to be good. Why do you put up with all that abuse from the Brotherhood? You see, the Brotherhood took me in when no one else would. They're me family, and I'm sticking with them. No matter how many times the sods ditch me. But you could leave the Brotherhood, and maybe even join the X-Men. <laughs> me? An X-Man? That'll happen the day the devil needs a snow shovel. Oh. So, how's about opening this cell? It's mighty crabbed in here. There's no way I'm letting you out. <laughs> what does the Brotherhood want with me? I wish I could tell you, love, but I don't know nothing. Cross me heart and hope to die. You know, if you give me some information, I'd speak to Professor Xavier about letting you out of there for a little bit. Oh, in that case, Mystique wanted you as part of some plan of hers. And when she couldn't snatch you away, she was plenty mad. Well, that's all I really know. I'm leaving. I'm sure there's something else I should be doing. Hey, dude, talk to the professor. See if he can find it in his heart to let poor old Toad go free. I didn't mean to spy on you, but surveillance cameras showed you were talking with Toad. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Should I not talk to Toad? I suppose it's okay. But you have to be very careful. Toad can be sneaky when the mood suits him. Yeah, he seems to think he can talk me into letting him out of the brig. <laughs> I said he was sneaky, not bright. Who was that woman who tried to kidnap me in New York City? Her name is Raven Darkholm, but she currently calls herself Mystique. She's a very talented shapeshifter and can assume the form of anyone she sees. For all I know, right now, you could be Mystique in disguise. But don't worry. I'm pretty sure you're you. Is she in charge of the Brotherhood? She's really more of a second in command. But for the past few years, yeah, she's been in control. Why did Mystique come after me? Professor Xavier is convinced that Mystique and the Brotherhood are up to no good. The problem is, all we can do is wait until the Brotherhood tips their hand. But what use could I be to them? We don't know. But you must have been a very important piece of the plan for Mystique to attempt to kidnap you in broad daylight. Thanks for the info, Cyclops. 
Anytime, Allison. So it's what's my color, and I, I believe those are the only two we want to right now. I was hoping to find G Gray, but I don't know if they have an out. Here. Starting to be a little bit laggy. Um, I have been streaming for a little while. I wonder if maybe I'm not eating with my triple bites. No, I should have plenty of that. That's not There's a danger of this right there. That was now it's just fine, so I'm not sure. Eh, just an occasional, occasional lag issues. It's not that it's normal at this point. So, uh, Magma is pretty out of place right now. It doesn't really feel like she has a home. She's here at the X Mansion and she just destroyed the danger room. And she feels like everyone's just trying to be nice. Instead of uh, really saying what's in their mind about her destroying it. And even though it is true that they often destroy the danger room, especially with someone like Wolverine in there, um, she still feels really bad about it. She can kind of seek comfort right now. So I'll give her a break. Guten Tag, Fräulein Christmere. May I be of service? You've mentioned God several times. Yeah, I have heard that many times. But my belief in God is my greatest strength. For you see, muscle may be able to move mountains, but faith can lift an entire civilization. Bye, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison. So I am going to do the sensible question right now. And in case I have any issues, I'm going to do a save state right here. Where's Remy? He said he'd be here. I don't like this. Something ain't right. Wolverine, how can you live being so suspicious of everything and everyone? The only reason I'm still living is because I am so suspicious. Mutant DNA identified. Activate primary objective. Destroy mutant subjects. 
Look out! It's a trap! So, this, this side quest is extremely hard. It is. I don't know how. You can't sugarcoat how hard this chapter is. Always have some agility, so I like to level that up early. Uh, and I'm gonna give her back even faster than it was before, and minus 60% pain. I have yet to find that. Um, oh, oh, where are we going here? This chapter is very difficult. Do your best to survive this one if you take on this class. Probably the best thing to do. For this to be a little bit easier, the best thing probably would be to level up to 12 using the danger room and then come back. Or if you like a challenge, just go it at level 8. Um, I, I don't want to say that Jean Grey is useless for this chapter, however, Sentinels are mental resistant, and I think her, if she does any melee attacks, it will probably just be like one to two inches per hit. So, oh man, that's my favorite screensaver right there. Yeah, the Sentinels can be very, uh, Let's do this. Yes. Oh, shoot. Run, run, run. Oh yeah, we need to retreat. Since I don't have flight level up um, and jump on here and then jump up on the roof, I remember there being a danger room disc somewhere. But I am about to level up, so if I really wanted to wait, I don't think we can get that there on that side. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I will comply. I think you can teleport it. There's... Yeah, er, okay, I think there is a danger disc up there. If I don't have flight, I'm going to skip it around. Okay, let's go. Okay, 
Yeah, I'd say level 12 is probably the ideal... Or the ideal level you want to be at to do this chapter, because it's, it's very hard. Chapter, take your time. Want to take, take a single one on one, right away, regroup, and come back. I'm trying to take one, two or three at a time. Uh, psychic shout move surprisingly does work, but very shortly. Oh. Nightcrawler. Damn that you key a little bit. Uh, okay, another guy. Go. Guys, this chapter is almost, almost impossible to do without one room. There's a ten. Sonic. Yeah, that one just psychic. So. Strike. Oh, it's leadership. Got up another one. So now we do 50% damage and 10% experience. Per, per at team combo. Yeah. I can't look at so it's. Fourteen. Yeah. And then 
Nightcrawler. One on one This is the hardest part right here. Use the extraction point, so I safe state again. This part you have to be really careful on because there's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna let the power come back a little bit. Guess you didn't want a piece of me. You're on the car when the sentinel falls into it. Um, yeah, you can back from that too. Laggy here because there's a lot going on on this part. Not surprised. Five more sentinels. They're going to start flying down the roofs of the tree. Gotta pick one off in the time before we have to go to the middle. Just stay on the outside and see the next one. Of course, it's you to have to add at least three at one time. Whoa. Uh -oh. Cross a little bit there. Good, y'all. This is how he's in the corner. I did that on purpose. Make sure everybody is healed up. As soon as you get out in the middle, you're going to have a bunch of signals all come out at one time. You only need to defeat three of them. Yes. 
Watch the missiles. Uh. Okay, we need just one more. May I be of service? And you're not at a high enough level to use what's called the Hammer of Nimrod, which allows you to do 125 to 150 plus damage on top of whatever attack you use. Only versus seven. So, okay, I got some uh, permanent bonuses there for Cyclops and Ice Man. But yes, so whenever you do that chapter, just not easy. You have to be careful. And like I said, whatever you do, just don't lose Wolverine and you'll be fine. Because if you don't have him out and he dies, the other three can barely do anything. No offense to Nightcrawler, but he's not that physically strong. And Ingray has mental, the Sentinels are mental resistant. So those two are very limited. And they lose us. Last is great. Vegetables are not really all that strong either. Greetings and salutations, Allison. Did anyone tell you what I did in the danger room? <laughs> My dear, I heard the explosions. I tried to apologize to Professor Xavier for all the damage. Not to worry. The danger room is always suffering one type of catastrophe or another. Besides, this will get... What if I never learn to control my powers? Adios, Dr. Potter, again. Sorry about that. That's preposterous. Of course you can. You simply need to persevere in your training. These powers I have, they scare me. Every X-Man felt that way initially. Some of us are still struggling for control. Don't kid me. I can see it's all a breeze to you guys. You don't have any problems. I beg to differ. Rogue will never know the touch of another person. Cyclops will... Again. Rogue, Rogue will never be able to have another touch of another person. Cyclops is forced to remember where his visor, and then there's Jean Grey. What about Jean Grey? In times of extreme duress, Jean has the potential to be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of power she wields. And when that happens, her... That sounds horrible. I am not cognizant of a word to describe just how horrible it is. Yeah. He has the ability to unlock the malevolent entity known as the X-Men always jetting off to stop trouble like they did for me today? No, but there are times when trouble seeks us out, right here at the mansion. I remember a time when a certain brute named Juggernaut paid us a visit. It was less than sociable. What happened? Juggernaut's mind was set on murder that day. The murder of his brother. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me, Beast. It's been a pleasure, my dear. Yes, did you know that Juggernaut 
and Marco and Professor Xavier are brothers. They will certainly are. That was a hard symbol down. Where's Xavier? Where's my half brother? Tell that runt Kane Marcos come home to bring the pain. By my stars and garters, Juggernaut appears quite perturbed. Where's the professor? In the sub basement, but we have to make sure Juggernaut doesn't make it that far. Prepare to get stopped! Oh, okay. Oh, whoops, I accidentally picked up a chair. That's not what I was trying to do. He's got multiple resistances, you can't do anything, so you just gotta make sure you up with him. He, uh, there's a little gauge there, you see it's green. Hey, give me back my helmet. It's the only thing that keeps me safe from psychic mutants. Ooh, great. The little visor there, it's green. That's telling you how much time passed. You want to get it before it gets red. Yo, we gotta get him now. Gotta get him now. Go. Okay. Whew. Wait too long, you'll fail. It, it seems like you have more time, but you don't. I failed it a couple. It's always a pleasure to see you again, Allison. Thanks for it. Still not allowed, so I guess we're going to have to wait to talk. Looks like Xavier's still in there. On that note, I think I've checked everything, and we're going to start the next session. Hi, Allison. Everything all right? <laughs> Thanks for the info, Cyclops. Anytime, Allison. I have a potential emergency. I received this brief transmission from Gambit a short time ago. Strange voodoo down here. Morlocks are gathered. And that's no lie. Now they coming for me. Professor, the Morlocks are after Remy. We gotta go save him. I agree, Rogue. We must proceed with caution. Who are the Morlocks? They're a tribe of mutants who have isolated themselves from the general mutant populace. They're sewer dwellers having built an entire secret society beneath the streets of Manhattan. 
Yes, and in doing so, they have become extremely hostile towards outsiders. I want a team to enter the sewers as quietly as possible and render aid to Gambit should he require it. Please keep contact with the Morlocks to a minimum. <laughs> that Cajun can't stay out of trouble, can he? That's a trait you two share in abundance. Alright, so the audio cut out there if you did. <laughs> Sorry guys. That's a tricky shoe. That's the way by the date. Wolverine has been gay, so everybody. Uh, slim, that will be fine. Turn them all. Lightning Fury and Ice Man Strike Focus Ice Armor can't do that again. And another shot. Remember what Professor Xavier said, let's find him and get out of here with as little contact with the Morlocks as possible. Gray is nice to have out here too, but um He hasn't been standing around that long, he's already been standing. Like, well, let's chill. Let's get going here. He told us to keep contact to a minimum, but that's probably not the way it's going to happen. Soon you ain't going to be so pretty. Yes. You lose. Oh! 
Whoa. That punch stole. Yes. Yeah, if that was Jean Grey, uh, that would have one shot at her. Gotta watch those physical resistant dudes. They got major strength. guys offer a lot of XP, so I just kind of keep going until they stop coming out. Over there in the corner, we need to back up. They're not, but I can't reach them, so I do damage to them. Yeah, the game almost glitched there because you can't really attack or get in that area. I had that there. Everybody on this part is uh, it's so for uh, this is really energy resistant. So if I had Jean Grey out, she could just make it for the other night. Think about Iceman, he's still great for enemies who are energy resistant for some reason. Is a cold smash attack is just strong enough. And his combo is able to keep up with it. Definitely do a lot with Iceman. Ain't walking away from this. Will do. Combo. Combo. So, uh, looks like War Run doesn't really do that much to any of the down here. So. have ice to help her out right quick. I'm on it. Got it. Come on. That move does 105 now. Damn. Oh, that's great. The whirlwind took him off the cliff and dropped him on the spike, so I got 168 experience instead of 30 something. That, that's pretty cool that that's 
That's gonna be a good. I didn't mean to break through that wall, but I just did. I need assistance. Right. Upper ice man. You really gotta watch your back from those physical things. Like it strongly. Soon you ain't gonna be so pretty. Come on. You can see that guy over there because of the camera. Almost too easy when you put Jean Grey out. <clears throat> Excuse me, when you put Jean Grey out. However, if you get careless, you know, she can die just as easy. So, um, I'm going to do Jean Grey and stuff. I had Jubilee now, so I'm going to wait on Jubilee. And Rope may not be bad for this part. Jean Grey. Let's see, oh yes. Put 
Slash. That takes the auto way of Slash instead of Got another, got another uh, muscle accelerator. I might give that to Iceman. I think Iceman has one, so I'm gonna give one to. Muscle accelerator to. Oh, he doesn't. He has a weakness analyzer. Yeah, I do mostly melee attacks with him anyway. Uh, minus two strike, minus two ability. get rid of them before that move powers up. You ain't walking away from this. Come on. By the way, the music on this game is great. get in the doorway like that it's hard to can't really move and that's a really easy way to die <laughs> just saying you can't get in the door you can't move but you can still be attacked Cyclops is over there about to die I can't do anything so I usually just walk away and try to get back in before they do. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Feel me again, X-Men. 
You're tougher than that. Soon you ain't gonna be so pretty. Combo! Combo! I need help right now! Combo! Sometimes the AI just standing there can kind of set you up to get work, so <laughs> switch, switch uh, the characters at will as you need to. Energy people are best to break that kind of thing down. I think I've done everything on this. End. This is way too heavy. Yes. What you're trying to do right now, you're trying to turn off the water valves so you can go deeper into the sewers. So I just did the east, the east trunk lines, now I have to do the west one. That one shut down. We need to be able to go down there where that door is. Yeah. Show it. Yeah, you want to get in that door down there. We need to do the west side. That kind of means that I should have had the qualifying exam 100 by now to pass from freshman to sophomore. So it's possible I could have missed that. Uh, if not, I'll be able to find it at some point.
before they get in the door, but like that, I can't really do much of anything. Where are they throwing? You bet. I'm trying to find out how icing the guy hit. There's a wall over there. Perfect. Sorry about that. You ain't walking away from this. Oh, I forgot about that. Watch the spikes there. Yeah, we're just not listening to what Professor Xavier said. He told us to keep contact with the Morlocks to a minimum. We are... They wasting through just about every Morlock we come in contact with, but... Okay, if someone starts a fight... Don't just sit there and take it. Now I can do Coal Crush, which is 25, 31. It goes to 60 to 63, and then 8 to 100 for level Those. So the reason why I didn't do any damage is you have to be standing on it when it comes up. Oh, So now we can go to the lower levels since the water has been drained now. I have a little bit more tech bits than I did at first. So there's a couple of things I can buy now. I can't buy very much. It's be always better to just search around and see. Indicator's gone, which is what I was looking for, because that gives you 10% experience. Um, 
since he has it in his shop, I'm not going to buy it yet. I'm going to hope that I can stumble across it. Players. Yeah. They're all great teams if you find them. Some of them are off some generator to generate your EP 50% more quickly. So this is going to have instead. I don't buy anything right now. I am going to sell the elemental defender. Things I might be using. We have a couple more notes before we get to Basic power. We can definitely use that. Okay, we already have something good. So I'll just go on to it. Oh, it's been a while since I've done a save. So I'm going to do the save state. And instead of the extraction. Extraction, right? Yeah, so it's elevator. Rad. Hi, how can I help you? Have you seen a man named Ian that last we heard he was here on the series? No, but you might ask Keeler. He knows everything that goes on there. Let's go find Keeler. So, uh, in case you guys didn't know, you can take a shortcut going back this way. And that will cut time down instead of having Greetings. Unless I'm mistaken, you are the X Men. Yes, you are. How did you know? Ah, every Morlock has heard of you. I am the healer, I am the spiritual leader of the Morlocks. I am also a skilled herbalist. <laughs> I care for the sick of our tribe by creating medicines from various plants. Given the proper ingredients, I would be happy to make healing potions for you. Now visit Keeler's Den to extract points during missions to buy and sell items. You can access his grab bag for a chance that you can use powerful equipment or dangerous risks. The grab bag is cool, but it is very expensive. It's 8,000 right now. So when you stack some guild up and you want to give that a try, uh, the thing is you never know what you'll get. So you may drop 8,000 and end up just getting a basic DNA generator, which is like 500 kill. So, yeah, it depends. <laughs> Be wary. Again, X-Men, how may I be of assistance? Marrow has forbidden any discussion on the subject. Sounds like there's more going on here than anyone's willing to say. I cannot answer that, but I would warn you to be wary should you search our tunnels for the Cajun thief. I've been attacked several times. Why are the Morlocks so agitated? These are confusing times for my people. Maro is losing sight of what her people want. She's leading them down a violent path. I, on the other hand, am trying to steer us towards... Uh, Go to that last Marrow is losing sight Never have Marrow and I been so divided on the subject. You are always welcome here, X Men. Must know someone thinks that. Upworlders, you have. 
have no business in the realm of the Morlocks. Be gone from here. Are you the leader of the Morlocks? Yes, I am Marrow. We have no need for the likes of you down here in our dark world. We're searching for a Gambit. Gambit. Yes, I've met him. But he's not been seen in our tunnels for a very long time. Are you sure? A short time ago, we were seeing the radio transmission saying he was in your tunnels. The radio transmission was obviously wrong. Your friend is not down here. We don't say anger you. You anger me because you live in a world of light and beauty, while we outcasts are forced to live in darkness. You're more than welcome to leave the sewers and join us in the sun. Liar! You speak sweet phrases, but you don't mean them. Mark my words. Soon we Morlocks will be treated as equals to those who walk in sunlight. We're going to continue the search for him. It's useless. You won't find him here. Okay, so now there's a door that was unlocked after that conversation and I always forget exactly where it is so um it's not that one you'll be able to see that you can not only open the door but walk through it yeah, it is. Gambit Gambit's pretty beastly uh, yeah, I, um, he is one of the cool X-Men to have out. Uh, like several of the X-Men, he has his own set of skills that make him very valuable to the X-Men. This guy right here, the Morlock God, he can resurrect any Morlock bring them back to attack you again. Yeah. You see him? Yeah, might want to focus on him first. And fair warning, he is mental resistant. I'm wanting you to sum it up. Someone other than Jean Grey is up to you fairly the end. You go through this door, remember there's more than spikes there. Just be wary. So, whenever they get ready to jump to the spikes, I like to grab them with telekinesis, toss them out of it. <laughs> There's a oh Iceman, what are you doing? So yeah, there's a, another Morlock Goth, and he's the one who can heal and bring back other Morlocks. So you saw Jean Grey in their ton of battle and but she wasn't doing much of anything. So you wanna switch it to someone else. I just realized that I do that. That's funny. I never paid attention before because I've never seen this game before. But do not have to open the doors for telekinesis. You bet. I didn't even realize that I do. I feel like I'm missing something, forgetting something. I'm gonna run back this way again. You're in for a world of hurt. 
Let's see something. Shouldn't we be saving the world or something? You're getting back to normal yeah. second. You're in for a world of hurt. Uh, don't worry. I think I need to do this. You're done for, well, There's some spikes right there, so you should get into that. I so iced you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of another room. What I said. You should never have set foot in our okay. sewers. We have two more more left off on the side. Sometimes you can toss them over, but it doesn't always work. You bet. You don't want to use someone like Cyclops to take them out. Uh, you can. Admit. Normally, I can throw them over the cliff, but it's not letting me this time. There's another one over there, we need to get him. Ah. 
He just keeps bringing them back. Bring it on, Chicho. And they block up the area like that, it's hard to tell. Oh, and in case you didn't see, they can also be cloaked. That's what I got You have to be careful with that. Oh, and you don't get experienced twice. You only get it once. I was gonna try to jump over there. I think you can, but I don't. Do I have flight. Will do. Not that I think Cyclops is worth this, but I'm gonna try to make him. Can make it barely. <laughs> Got it. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> Teleports to you're done for, pretties. They always get stuck in the doorway like that. There's another danger room that's going for something. There's a danger of this back here somewhere. Or something. That's where we came from. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. We're gonna come around a different way. I think I just turned around. I'm gonna put level up here real quick. Yeah, so let me show you guys something. So the way she attacks now, right? She kicks and everything. When you upgrade her, when you upgrade her um, psionic fury, her attack style changes, and she becomes even stronger than she was before. So you'll see what I mean when I back up. Okay. So now she stands, her stance is different, and she her attack power is She's got more range to attack with. Uh, upgrading to Psionic Fury makes her really extremely strong. And then she, she specifically is the only X-Men that has telekinetic combat. And that 
adds extra power onto every move you already do. So the damage that you have, the damage it says that it does for when you upgrade it or put some point on it. Telekinetic combat adds that to whatever it already is. Um, So it's cool too because she has a little bit more of a range. She's melee. She's a little bit further away. She can hit people and still be a little bit out of reach. So that's the same for Storm and Magma. Since I didn't upgrade uh, Flight and Jean Grey, there is a danger of this here that I will not be able to get. Over there, you would have to fly over there to be able to get So, Challenge Gambit, this, I'm not going to worry about it this time around. I should be alright. Let's. Um, I notice we saw Meryl's photo again, so that can't be good. Are you okay? Bonjour, Miss Me. I'm fine. It's good to know a man can come in the spring. We? Meryl, let Ganda go. Never! We'll fight you dudes to the death before we get the cage enough. Get her. If he has mental resistance, but she is, for some reason, she is very susceptible to uh, Jean Grey's psychic shout. One excellent for now, but this is the only the first. Caught him spying on us like a rat in the shadows, and has some too good deep complicating my plan. Let us take Gambit and look very well, but don't let us catch that Cajun in our sewers again. So again, it's been already in the lab. Wait down here. I was hearing the Morlocks were getting cozy with the Brotherhood. Thought maybe I'd better check it out, you know? Then they done pop. Wish you're not as lucky as you thought. Oh, I don't know about that. After all, y'all be here saving me. Let's get out of here before Miral comes back to take us all this. That chapter. So Gambit disappears, but he does become her. So that's pretty cool. X Men, I apologize for the telepathic intrusion, but from data gained at the Harp facility, I believe we've determined where the Brotherhood will strike next. Is this the location Toad told us Mystique was so interested in? Yes, Scott. And that location is the USS Arbiter. Ain't that the new submersible aircraft carrier? Indeed. Its exact coordinates are being uploaded to you now. Professor, you don't suppose that the Arbiter is where they're keeping Mag- Storm, I pray it is not. But you must proceed there immediately and stop the Brotherhood before they're able to achieve their goal. Don't worry, Professor. We'll stop them. Dead in their trap. Have you ever post-conference? Yes, you will. 
I think this is probably one of the most difficult sections in the game because you aren't that high of a level yet. This is easily one of the most difficult sections in the game, I think. So, she can't have any rage yet. There's a lightning strike. Worrying about war room. Oops, just did something. Oh, I like that. Whoops. Okay, she's in the refrigerator. And for this particular this particular challenge, you cannot use Jean Grey. So while you may, you know, get used to using her, she's the only X-Men that several times throughout the game you are unable to use her because she is doing something else. Um, and you'll hear about that later. So I do have Gambit now, and uh, he is pretty OP. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I definitely want to keep out Iceman. Iceman is definitely one of my go-to's. So I keep out Iceman and Wolverine. I'm going to put out Gambit. Gambit. So I have 11 points. He has a lot of stuff. Gambit has a staff. He has his overload where he can implode, he can set a charge on something and implode upon contact. And then he also has his own kinetic strike, kinetic fury jabs. So, we're going to get one of each here. So, staff slam is cool. Kinetic boost, you get four to five energy damage to physical attacks. And that's just the first level because when you get here to kinetic amplification, it also gives you 10% movement speed on top of that. So for now, but 9 to 11 extra damage on top of the damage that you already do. So that can't be very powerful. Okay, we'll only do two Staff Master. Well, I don't really use overload that much. But pretty soon I will be making sure to you know, start leveling up his overload more. Um, I like Storm being out. I've never had Julie cards. I don't really know. Yeah, Julie's kind of uh, mental. She's kind of like mental, like Jean Grey and Emma Frost. So, um,. Can't really do much against Sentinels, and that's what we're about to start battling. So I'm not going to bother with her yet. That crawler's not bad. Hmm. No, I'm going to. Rogue. Rogue, Gambit, Iceman, and Wolverine. Okay. 
That's definitely a good group. For now. We'll see. We have to stop the the safety of the urban is our main priority. Fortunately, they're probably going to see it. Guard up. I will. You can buy impacts from him. In case you were ever running low, you can go in there and close and still no sign of the Hammer of Nimrod. That's the um, the equipped outfit I like, where it gives you 125 to 150 damage on top of whatever you already do to Sentinels. Because this part can be very grueling. It's my extraction point again. I'm going to save states. Lucky thing I got a deck of cards. Let's see what you got. Heads up! Was right. They are building sentinels again. Why are the sentinels attacking us and leaving the Brotherhood alone? Missions are yet all means. Remember at the beginning of the game when they broke into Forge's uh, workshop? This is your DNA masking technology? That's what they're doing right now. Stop additional signals from being deployed. We'll have to destroy the Washington Heads up! Let's avoid those bombs. Oh my goodness. They will one shot you. bit of lag going on here. There's a lot going on in this there. I'll be back after a little bit. Come on, yo. I 
get any cooler. <laughs> what are those tubes? Oh! Whew. Almost died. explain uh, this is the kind of part where storm and cyclops are super great to have out because those combo damages the book come out it will quadruple the amount of damage and then you'll get more out this time so I usually always have both of them out and while it does make things a little bit easier um it doesn't make it way easier but it does it is helpful I'm gonna challenge myself to deal with all this Understand where the red red attack in your island. Sentinels locate mutants by scanning for mutant DNA, and with Forge's masking device, the Brotherhood would appear as ordinary. That's exactly what they did. Got it. Got it. We'll do. Time you freaks learn a lesson. This sentinel is so deadly. Yeah. Okay. Get him. You got you gotta get make quick work of this dude. Yeah. And it's hard because he's like for some reason you can't attack him continually with combos. You can only hit him once. Wait, 
those who didn't know, there isn't another extraction point right here. Yep, right over there in the corner if you need it. Okay. Okay, so you want to use this crane, right? I'm going to move that over there, and then you want to blow up. You want to throw it at, oh goodness. They don't, they're, they can move, come on. Uh, you want to throw it at the ship. And that's the only way to get in there. So if you do take your time on this part, if you want, you can delay destroying the machines that allow Sentinels to come out and farm XP on them. But you do want to be very careful because all it takes is one, just one to two wrong moves and a Sentinel can fail one to two people. So just, if you want to do that, you just have to be really careful about how you go about it. And because I haven't leveled up, she can also take some up and take them with me. So well, there will come a time where that can happen. So I'm not really sure if she'll be well to hear the answer to that. But you want to get a quick bird's eye view of how a place is. This is really great to use. Oh, there's a stack point over here. I don't even think I ever knew that. Huh. Very cool. I want to give it to Rogue because she's the only person I can get up there. Um, I could have brought Iceman over there with me, but it's fine. But where we need to go. Oh. As you can see, Rogue, she's kind of slow, but she is a powerhouse. So she lands her hits and takes them out. Will do. If they're not physical resistant, Rogue is like perfect. So what you're hearing is a drainer, a mean energy drainer. I like to put on my armor um, straight forward. Okay, 
There are quite a few things to be aware of on this one. I'll be sure to find them out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. There are quite a few things to be aware of on this part. Oh, everybody's leveled up. Uh, level everyone up. So, for the next, I don't know, for a while, it's going to be constantly battling sentinels. So again, you can farm XP here if you want, or you know you have a hard time fighting them, which I think everybody does. Um, you can just attack the machine first, and then go for this thing. There are no wrong answers. Definitely understand the desire of wanting to level up. Go that first. Oh, shoot. want to let him... So if you want to let the Sentinel come out a little bit, or else the game will glitch and he'll try to attack you from the spotlight and you can't attack him. So that's what I did. Little glitch would be not the same as it now. Definitely want to check that. Gotta watch those sentinels. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Oh, no, you good? I love this game. Fuck all day for that. So, this is the part that I wanted to tell y'all about. So, put everybody with their defense on. And this drains all of your EP on contact. You have to function without it. So also, you hear that sound? So you got to, uh, oh, you've been playing GTA, all right? There is a machine gun right there, and that thing will fire as soon as you see it. Okay. So the best way is to run around, run around, and get up. So I did 24 in one hit. If you weren't paying attention or expecting it, it could easily take you out. Definitely want to watch that. Catch you later, Reed. You bet. So with Rogue being a powerhouse, that also means that her agility isn't that high, so her moves can be blocked unless you focus on that. And, you know, you kind of have to mix it up. Mix up what you want to have to do, take the good or bad or something. So, uh, yeah, she's pretty strong. I like having her out. I had to choose, of course, I had choose between her and Swarm for other purposes, other than choose the others, because they didn't the goal team, so. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm going to level up everyone real quick. Oh, yeah, man. That game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this game, is, it, it really is kind of hard. Uh, <laughs> I definitely enjoy it. The difficulty, difficulty level is... is I could level up grapple her bulletproof it's minus five physical damage, minus thirty percent pain. Uh, when you really do get to the third level, it is as if she's invulnerable. It's pretty cool. This is easily one of the harder parts, man, with uh, all these symbols you gotta fight back to back. But what I do like is that it is challenging, because I'm not sure if it's a new age thing of games, but a lot of the newer games, they don't keep your attention. I mean, they don't keep my attention, like they just almost like they're either too easy or it's hard to keep playing it. So, I mean, that's just how it is. I think the older games were probably had better. It wasn't about the graphics, it was about the game, actually. Uh, yeah. Things have changed a little bit, but it's not all that. Yeah, wait for the Sentinel to come out. The game will glitch and try to attack him. another machine gun around here somewhere. Another machine going out here somewhere. I forget where he is. Yeah, you know, sometimes I, I thought it was me. And then, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some new games are too easy. Like, like I was. So. Um, now. I'll say it about like Smash Bros. Like for instance, like Smash Bros. on Melee was like that was my game. Like you had to actually be good and be able to combo. But uh, Brawl and Smash Four, Smash Ultimate, it's almost like anyone can pick up the controller and win. So it's a little different. 
that's just me. You know, oh, and I'm not knocking your game, of course. You know, I love Smash. I'm Nintendo all day. That's my soul. But, uh, I feel like the newer ones are a little bit easier. Okay. The ones from back in the day where you had to actually know how to use the character. Okay. Right. To get what a win is. That's just me. Personally, my favorite go-to games have always been okay. racing games like Mario Kart, Get the Machine Gun. know that you can't try to go against that machine gun like the way I did. You can break through this wall and out the back of it. You bet. There's a guy and they're just chilling. Okay, here. I also could have came in through that. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Just blew everybody up. Okay. You bet. There's another dude. Everybody up. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Guys, give him some room so the game doesn't glitch. Get up. Okay. 
here when I try to block that. Sometimes you can fly through it. You can fly through it, or if you have a muscle accelerator, you might be able to run through. That's another way you can do it. Back, make sure that you miss anything. I vaguely remember there being a danger room this, in this area. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I thought there was Another send them out of here. Okay. Right. Wanna walk away completely so we can come out of there. Stays there, I won't be able to forward unless, um, okay, he's such a hell of Sometimes it happens. Oh wait, 
destroying the ship's generators and cracking the hull in the process. I can, but only for a short time. We need every second you give us so sorry, I pressed X fast, but uh basically ask you to always hold the ship for this right here. Only someone who has a Got it. energy type uh, range last uh, on that note I am going to have to change my name because I'm going to swarm the horse I class. So I am going to switch Gambit to Cyclops. Cyclops. And I think I'll keep Rogue out actually. Okay, see that's the cool thing about Cyclops. So see he does eight or plus six striking and agility for himself, but on the next level, if he's by him if his teammates are near him when he uses it, they will also give him striking and agility. So I'm gonna save that actually. I'm gonna save that point and let that. Okay, so this is a new one. So Wolverine does 15 to 18 physical damage, 6 destruction, and now for 5 seconds, 4 to 5 damage per second of bleed damage of whatever he cut. So that that can also when you're in a pinch. Run, you can uh, run away a little bit and the bleed damage finish. So this is saving that point. Alright, we've got to save the Arbiter crew. They're destroying the ship and we only have 15 minutes to get out. We'll do a save here to see. Cyclops and Storms. Repair a hole, you get more time. Wanted to, you could also. We have eight women that we need to rest. The 
ship is starting to fall apart. I'll hold it together as long as I can, but it'd really help me if you'd repair any leaks that appear. Take your bad beauty. Like I've never seen that comic book. <laughs> I may have missed it through the camera angles. Everybody up here. Will do. They all kind of did come out of the world. Oh, I forgot about that. So, this fire right here, I was wondering how they all lost their power so quick. Sometimes the AI will get stuck and just stand in it. Can't fall into the water, be careful there. Sometimes the AIs can be stuck. Yeah. 
there's a I that sounds like there is a machine gun in the background of your hiding. I'm not sure what it is exactly. You're still breathing. Don't have enough power. Okay. Generators, I don't really use that much of. I don't really think anyone can use it other than Wolverine or like the healing factory. How do I get really. out of here? I just saw one. Yeah, so the AI is kind of standing there after the story that the movie was. That's part of the reason why their help gets low on this part. We got four more to rescue. The uh, next part, next part is not as uh, easy going. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Oh yeah. I'm going to try not to get lost in the race on them. It's not like you have forever. Cyclops just leveled up, so I'm going to give his strategy. And now me and my teammates get both strike and agility. We've leveled up two. Learned a lesson. Did you slip 
on something, huh? You bet. You see uh, all the striking and agility that she gives from Cyclops, that plus eight, it really helps her out. That went much smoother than I would have if I hadn't used it. Oh shoot. <laughs> I was trying to get up there so I could shoot that thing with an optic blast. Uh, so I guess doesn't have that. For the sake of time, I will replace him with Storm. Harder times as storm, lightning, ice man's at 15. First, I do uh, one of the first ones here. Kelly attacks do 50 to 63. right now so let's go Reach it without falling in the water. Is anything to look at? Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's go. You're going down. Okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like I'm forgetting. Oh, I am. Okay.
We have four more crewmen to save, and I haven't seen. Okay, there's one. How do I get out of here? Is there a disc right there? There it is. Qualifying exam 200. So I have a lot of uh, classes I need to take there in the danger room. So I'm gonna um, go over there. I'm gonna flip to the extraction point and work on those at some point. Um, We need to take him back first. That's eight, all right. Is there one more person on this part? I think so. I think so. Running out of time here. No. I think we want. I think there's three on the next part. Of it. Not mistaken. Oop. <laughs> Forgot about the fire for a second. Sure, how much longer I can hold this ship together? Okay, so we need to go. We got three more crewmen to save, and then we can bounce. Yes, there is a recruitment right here. Almost forgot about him. He's easy to forget about. How do I get out of here? You're going down. Oh, 
hold this world together while you fix it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> was he trying to share? Alright, let's go. Time you freaks learn a lesson. You ain't getting up for me. I feel as strong as a hurricane! Ah, uh, yes. Here's one of the other guy. Right here. One more free. I think I might have forgotten the human on the previous part. Oh man, okay. I gotta go back. I think I need to go back to the previous. Oh shoot, where's the last guy at? It's funny, I've played this game so many times, but it doesn't take much to miss a crewman when you play this part.
Here he is. Close the window. We got someone somewhere. How do I get out of here? How much time it is. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to drop it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Good. Good. Dude, hurry up the top. You have to say that you do. How do I get it? Oh no, did I glitch it? Glitch the game. Okay, the other crew is saying it's this one. No, it's too late. I can't keep the ship afloat any longer. Whatever it was the brother... Whatever it was the brother of one of you, they're going to die in it. If you don't leave right now, we'll drown soon. Get ready! Here he comes! Yes, sir! Our top story tonight, the attack on the USS Arbiter. Earlier today, a terrorist group known as the Brotherhood of Mutants boarded the Arbiter and forced their way into the lower decks. Once there, they released an electromagnetic burst that severely crippled the ship. Officials were quick to point out that even though the Arbiter sank, there was no loss of human life. This event gave General Kincaid more fuel for his anti-mutant sentiment. At a press conference, the general said that should things continue in this vein... Homo sapiens, we stand upon the edge of a brave new world, and evolution has found you lacking. I invite all mutants to congregate at the mount. Together, we will force the Homo sapiens to make way for their true masters. Homo superior. Things at the mansion have become really tense now that Magneto is free. Professor Xavier spends a lot of time with Cerebro. Cyclops is super uptight, and you can't talk to Wolverine without him trying to take your head off. Feels like something really bad is about to happen. Still, as stressed out as things are... Arms suppressed to find. I'm starting to think of the mansion as well. Probably one of the things that I love about Madness is that she's a writer 
I am as well, like Trevor, you know, every single day. Little thoughts down on paper and on my head. Some of them don't belong there. <laughs> That's probably why I connected with Magma very easily. Or uh, Allison, excuse me. So, uh, there's one thing I'm going to do, and then I'll come back around and talk to in the sub-basement of, yeah, it, it is like watching a comic book come into life. I think they did really, really, really well with this. They did really well with this. So there are quite a few things that I want to get that needs to happen this time at the mansion. Because this chance will not come again. So. I can go to the extra hangar. Right now. You'll see why I'm telling you this later. So. Look around. I think there might be a danger room disc in here somewhere. Maybe, maybe not right now. Huh, there's a bike. There's a bike out. Now, who do we know who rides a bike? A motorcycle. The x okay. So, he is not here right now, but he will be later. And if you miss that conversation, Never be able to hear that again. So it's really important to look for it. I'm going to send a little bit of lag here. I'm going to talk to... I'm going to run through the mansion and talk to the person later. I just want to make sure I'm here. So this... Okay. Hello, Allison. We were just discussing you. I'm really really sorry about all that damage I did to the danger room. <laughs> Kid, if I had to say sorry every time I tore up the danger room, it'd be the only word out of my mouth. Really? You mean it? Yes, Allison. Part of the reason we use the danger room is so new mutants can test their powers in a controlled environment. And that frequently results in equipment being damaged. What do you say, Ken? Want to give it a go? You want me to go in the danger room again? I think it would be a good idea. Professor Xavier is quite adamant that you hone your skills. Besides, aren't you just aching to pay back Mystique and the rest of the Brotherhood for jumping you like that? Okay, I'll give it a try. Good. Just warn me if you're gonna go thermonuclear so I can get out of the way. <laughs> All right, so now we got to give it another go. What am I doing here? I'm not ready for this. Now don't you go worrying, kiddo. We're going to watch you every step of the way. If there's even a whisker of trouble, I'll pull the plug. You sure about this? If I'm lying, I'm dying, kiddo. 
Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. All right. So Allison's going to give us another go in the danger room here. Level her up. Power in hand. And then the reflector. Um, oh, yeah, Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine has always been a fan of. That's for sure. Corrupting rage. I'm gonna do a map of me. I'm not. Time you freaks learn to listen. See how uh, Magnus fighting style has changed. It's like Jean Grey's. Got a little more distance between her and her enemies. What the cool thing about what they're doing for her right now is they're recreating the exact scene where her trauma started to show that she could do something differently. I think that's cool, actually. Am I playing too rough for you? It's like, almost like it's a miniature therapy session for her to help manage the trauma that she caused. And uh, right back to and stay down. Pick up uh, her, yeah. Okay, well, let me pick it up and just stop. Did she get her Magnemite all the way up? She can pick up the heavier stays. Payback time. You know it. If you didn't know, you could continue to use her lava tracks over and over. A cool way to escape. Faster. Another option. Okay, we're going to move the fire, huh?
on, let's go. All right. What's going on here? <laughs> Time to heat things up. Fool, you think I came here alone? You are destined to lose, X-Men. This is impossible! Get that last hit stun on somebody. Magma form should be carried though. <laughs> Quicker, did it. I beat Mystique. Great job, kid. But now you gotta go save yourself from the lob. Oh, right. I almost forgot. <laughs> oh, she made some quick work of uh, Mystique, though. Goodness. Yeah, Magma's a powerhouse. She's definitely a lot of fun to play with. Very helpful in a pinch. The magma form is really strong. I'll see you again, X-Men. Not too bad. After this battle with uh, the lab, I think I'm gonna the game's over, cut it, save, save my videos. 
or else they don't know what to do. So I still have one left, but that's good. Yep, so if she can't lift normal form, she can lift it back. Dude got some range on his arms though. Allison, you were magnificent. I saw the entire exercise. Very commendable, Allison. You've already shown vast improvement in controlling your powers. Perhaps it's time you were given greater responsibilities. Professor, I admit it was impressive, but one session in the danger room doesn't make Allison ready for field ops. I agree, Scott, but we must allow Allison to grow at her own rate, and I believe that with the proper supervision, she would make an excellent addition to our team. Me? An X-Man? I don't believe it. What do you say, Allison Cressmere? Would you consider joining our team? Yes, yes, I'd love to! Do I get a cool code name? <laughs> How about Pebbles? <laughs> oh, hi, Logan. Stratus? Yeah, those are good suggestions, but, um, I kind of had a name in mind already. How about Magma? Magma. An excellent choice. Welcome to the X-Men. Magma. What about the uniform? Do I get to wear my uniform all the time? <laughs> Follow me, dear. All right. So Magma is Magma. Uh, for her outfit, Magma is now an X-Man. Despite the lag just now, give me a second here. Magma is officially in it. So, on that note, on that really cool positive note, I uh, end it here today. And I do plan to, uh, I do plan to do the whole game here. So, um, we're already at level 15. So we're about, i say maybe about a quarter of the way done with the game. There's still quite a lot to do and the plot grows and thickens and this game is just really, it's a lot of fun. I love playing it and I'll be sure to uh, post again soon. Um, so, uh, thank you all, everyone, for watching. And uh, on the next video, Magma will be a part of the team mission of the next um, mission war room set that I do. So, yeah. So let me save it here. Save it there. And on that note, guys, On that note, guys, I am going to stop the stream here. 
Thank you everyone for tuning in and I hope you all have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for uh, commenting. Love to butt out. I appreciate you uh, uh, hopping in and just chatting. I appreciate it. So uh, stay tuned for more guys. See ya.